Hello everybody, welcome to another installment of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy. And I'm going to go into screen share mode. Let's see here. But her part do it. Okay, is my screen being shown? Uh-huh. It's all good. Okay, cool. A little bit of the backstory. Katerina Edwards Roy, Katerina Edwards, Katerina Roy, whatever you want to refer to her as. Um, she's the one who sent me this in the first place asking what I think. And, you know, the way we're going to describe this, I, I mean, no disrespect whatsoever to Jordan L Levine, Levine, however you, you pronounce that. No disrespect to him. No disrespect to Anybody talking on here, I mean, seriously, love and light to everyone, but we're going to call bullshit. <laughs> um, we're going we're gonna to examine dichotomy here because this is one big, huge dichotomy. Basically what happens is you have people like, you know, well, just lots of different people, some of which are mentioned here, who end up having spiritual experiences and, and whatever, or maybe they come head-to-head -head with some Illuminati force or whatever. Needless to say, some circumstance helps them to grow some balls and start aligning with more to who they are. And because we live in a tyrannical Nazi society and our educational system is literally based on Nazism, you can look that one up, That's the history is all there, we live in a society that gets easily but hurt by everything and everyone because what we do, we psychologically project, we see someone that we approve of, we put them on a pedestal, we have all these unreasonable, unrealistic expectations like, oh, I say they're a spiritual teacher or guru, so that means they're not allowed to be human. So one little mistake, one little learning experience that they have, one little fuck up that they make and learn from, and I'm just going to point at them and scream fraud and Satan. So, in my humble opinion, this is what's happening here. Jordan says, I have no proof other than for myself and my ability to sense the forces involved in this stuff, but I swear... Teal Swan, Abraham Hicks, and other similar characters are puppets for the MK Ultra CIA style projects or something similar. I highly recommend energetically disassociating and ceasing all interactions with them and other similar New Age groups. Yeah, so let's be New Agey and shun the dark while shunning New Agers for shunning the dark. No dichotomy there. New Age groups and persons. It's worth it to find real teachers. Yep, yeah, let's put information up there as our authority. Worship it as our God. Okay. It's worth it to find real teachers and real ways of accessing your potential without any of that crap. Okay, so here's my first question. How is that not being New Agey? How is that not being a part of the MK Ultra CIA PSYOP? Isn't that what the Illuminati want us to do? Don't they want us to fight and bicker and bitch and judge? How is this not doing exactly what he's saying to not do? Your thoughts, Rich? <laughs> I'm buttered. I'm a big asswipe. I can't handle it. Find other teachers until those teachers say something I don't agree with, then shun them and because they said teachers. something I don't agree with. And then find more teachers that, that are really good, and until they say something I don't agree with, then they're part of that same group. I'm persecuting everyone who doesn't agree with me in a very nice way. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, a, it's a total... It, it's totally stabbing yourself in the hand with a fork and saying, I'm not stabbing myself in the hand with a fork. It's denial of the already clearly blatantly obvious. Oh, the fork has happy sunshine paintings on it, so it's a good fork, but I'm still stabbing myself in the hand with a fork. I mean, it's just like God. I'm just, you know. It's the same and and, and, and we're and, and we're and we're disassociating with the evil energies by shutting the fork with the little troll head on it, because uh -huh. that fork with the troll head is bad. But the little smiley happy face, you know, that's yeah. Um, and Katerina wants the the link 
to join us, so Katarina's about to join us. Finally, I get to meet Miss Katarina. Yes, you're finally going to meet Katarina. I've been wanting to get to a line like for the longest time now, and finally well, it's going. It is. It's the year of action. What did we say? It's going to happen right now. Yep, Real yep. Time. Yep, totally, totally. <coughs> Here's yes. Katarina. Yay, you finally get to meet Rich. Hello. 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 Hi. So, okay, I guess in fairness, uh, I'll get to ask, who gets to play narrator for all the posts on this Facebook thread, or do you guys want to take turns, or what? Oh, I, I, I've, got, I, I've got a good one that I want to go to. Uh, let's go well, back. I, uh, I'm on my cell phone, so... That's okay. I can't. But I will participate and say hi, because, I mean, I kind of started all of this by throwing you that link. <laughs> Yeah, so let, why don't we just like kind of kind of start at the beginning here? Um, most of the beginning comments don't seem too horribly long, so let, let's be let's be fair to everybody and and read off their stuff so that you know we don't get accused of censorship or favoritism or anything. Let's you know let's let's let everybody have their piece. Um, that shouldn't take any more than ten or fifteen minutes to go through it, and it's not like any of us have a plane to catch here, so you know. Mm-mm. So, Rich, if you want to go ahead and start from the beginning and just read through, um, I I will, you know, mute out and and shut up and let you do that. Okay. Um, well, I'm just kind of looking at this first one here by uh, first name's Maggie, but uh, she's kind of going on the similar line here, you know. That's not that's not the first one. That's not the, you have to click well, the no, link. Well, not not not, not, not the, you, I'm, you I'm, talking the, I'm talking the comments thread here. It's visible right on the main screen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm just saying you have to click view previous comments until all the comments are shown. Otherwise, uh, you're that's where I'm at. I'm already on. The, I'm already on the main screen. They're already. I have them pulled up. I'm just looking at them on the Google Hangout, which is what I'm looking at, and it's you've got it right where I want it already. So why even go on mine when you already have it where I want? Okay. Just, just making uh, sure. Just making sure. No, I'm looking at this one by Maggie. It's at the very top. It's the third com. Yeah, the third comment down. It's right there, Maggie Shaw, you know, and it's really funny, you know. This is why I like you. I've been feeling very similar things about Abraham Hicks for a while. I'm butthurt, but it's something I can't put my finger on. I just know to listen to my intuition now. If something is off because I say it is, if something or someone doesn't feel 100% genuine because I feel they're not, they're not, period. I'm God. Look up to me. Kiss my ring. I'm better than you. So suck on it, bitch. That's pretty much what it comes down to. I mean, it's just like, it's like peace and happiness towards you. You're fine with your opinion. I've got nothing against you as a person. It's just, you know, you accuse other people of being domineering or demanding or whatever and at the same time you're doing exactly what you're accusing the other party of doing which is being forcing of will and slamming your opinions on other people you know making quick conclusions saying this is the only reality there's no other potential this is you know what I say is law and if you don't agree with what I say you're just a dumb no good rotten doo doo head and I don't want to deal with you and how dare you and you know it's it, it is literally stabbing yourself in the hand with a fork or shooting yourself in the foot or whatever type of analogy you want to use you're basically just self-sabotaging yourself and it's just just stop stop <laughs> It's, it's, you know, if you don't well, want to have... She's having a valid experience. She's uh-huh. having an opportunity uh-huh. with this to face her hypocrisy. So I wouldn't say that she needs to stop, but I would hope that she does learn from I mean, this experience. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean stop in the sense of, you know, stabbing yourself in the hand with the fork. That's what I mean. I yeah. don't mean don't learn 
turn. I don't mean don't grow as an individual. I don't mean, you know, make valid calculations within your mind and figure it out and go, oh, okay. I see what the information is. Well, I know, I, I, I know that's what you mean. I just have to benevolently troll you a little bit so that you oh, express your, your, your opinions know. a bit more. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not playing favorites with anybody. I'm being uh, completely I know. fair. I know, Dave. I know, Dave. I know you're not. Ask, ask Katerina. She, she, she has lost track of how many times she's, she, she loves it, but she doesn't mean she doesn't want to hit me over the head with a frying pan. <laughs> Oh, looks like Rich just stepped off for a second. Oh, I'm back. Just my cat scratching on the door post. Uh, Katarina, you have your frying pan handy? Uh, totally. No, sorry, okay. I was just talking housemates <laughs> really quick. It's all good. All right, Rich, feel free to continue. Well, I mean, it's just, you know... I'm just seeing a lot of back-and-forth comments here, you know? A lot of it... I just view as valid perspectives that are all just constantly, some of which align and some which don't. And it's just kind of a back and forth mudsling, you know. It's just kind of like. Yeah. I mean, let's move, let's 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 move forward in reading the comments so everybody gets their their two cents in in here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix my thread. It's got weird. I've got this custom Facebook colorization type thing, and it's kind of messing with my. Okay. Okay, moving down. There we go. I see a lot. Of, I see a lot of comments in here, though. You know, like. From Michael so, 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 uh, somebody else might be joining us here. Someone else requested the link, so we're probably oh. going to get someone else popping in just, just to give you advance warning. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of different comments here by Michael Dovin Gray. Um, I mean, just a lot of positive, like, like I'm saying, there's a lot of positive, you know, comments about these people, and then there's negative ones, you know. Anyway, I've kind of said my piece for now, so I kind of want to hand over the torch to Katarina and just kind of listen to what she has to say in live, first-person contact conversation, is considering this is the first time yeah. I get to be well, the first awesome actually... person I've been told so much about. If you were listening <laughs> to it, what she said before, she can't narrate because she's on a cell phone. So she's yeah, got so little bitty have, mi like, micro screen. But she has seen the conversation. She has seen the thread. So she does have a valid perspective. Therefore, I want to. Yes, she does. <laughs> oh well, okay. I can comment on it. I definitely am not gonna like try to narrate telepathy. Yeah. Play with telepathy. I'm, just, no, I'm just saying I want <laughs> I want a little bit of narration being done so that we move through these comments because I'm trying to be fair to everyone. Period. Oh, of course, but. Yeah. Uh, I'll share my, my point of view real quick. Go ahead. Um, my point of view is very similar with yours, Dave, but I also kind of feel like this is sort of in the same vein as, um, you know, what we were talking about the other day, that whole, like, fear of success kind of thing. My My point of view is that I feel like Jordan kind of looks at these people and he is assigning this this energy perception to them, correct? But at the same time, he also is trying to market himself as a bit of a teacher and a healer and that kind of thing. Um, and it's almost like stirring up some controversy in order for him to be able to, you know... <laughs> point more people in his direction and his brand of truth, right? And whether or not he's conscious of this, I don't know. But um, that was just like my initial yeah. perception because yeah, you know, a the lot comments of are, oh, there's a frenzy right oh, now, so everybody's seeing yeah. it. And, 
A lot of people, but, a lot of people do that subconsciously. They, it's not like a, a conscious like conspiracy. Like, muhahaha, I'm going to do this, and then people are going to come to me. And I shall rule the world. It's not. It's not exactly. Some, like, con- no, conscious it's, there's trying, no plotting trying to be and a dick sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. But then plus so, you look at you look at reactions like this and then people like you and I, it brings up the fears of our own success and our own self sabotage, like, oh well, we don't want to be on the firing range by people like this, so we better minimize our success and so that people don't point at us and go, Oh well look at them, they're successful, so that must mean they're a fraud. So then we right. sabotage remember we were ourselves. just talking about this? Yeah, especially totally. as you and I are starting to expand more into our vocalness and into our our ability to share the message that we have on our hearts. I mean, I think <laughs> I think Rick I think Rick is here. Welcome, Rick. I think people, uh, you know, look at it and they're thinking, "Oh no, well, I don't want to be, you know." popular in the eyes of everyone because I'm going to have to deal with this kind of controversy because everyone has an opinion, you know, they, they all, all will some, at some point think you're like a cult leader or something. And it, it's just a shame because there's a lot of good messages being spread by these people, but all of our own little illusions that we have about the world around us kind of keep that from us so then we're looking at everything through this lens of fear you know so if you're looking at the people who are trying to disseminate like a message of hope for all these people who are going through some really tumultuous times and they're really stuck in a lot of ways and uh, modern methods have failed them and modern religion has failed them and all of this kind of stuff. Like, I just, I think that it's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. And apparently I was wrong on the name. It's not Rick. It's Rich. We have a second Rich in the room. Oh, hi, Rich. But we we don't hear Rich yet. Is Rich audible? Does Rich's micro... Oh, Rich just went bye-bye. That's weird. Maybe he's, he's having connection issues. You know, the one thing that I did notice, though, is that, well, actually, it was a thought that occurred to me was, wouldn't it be funny if overnight, you know, tomorrow, as a result of this threat or something, Jordan's video feed, like, started blowing up, and he started getting all these subscribers and all of this business and all of this attention, like, I think his head might explode, you know? Like, oh, Jordan, you have the way, you have the answer, like, what if... Because he is looking at this stuff and being like, oh, they're, they're MK Ultra and whatever. What if the universe had some sort of like ironic backflip on him? Yeah, and he gets, deal with that? He, he gets all super popular and then all of a sudden half the people are praising him and the other half of the people are going, oh, well, Jordan's just another Teal Swan, just another Abram Hicks. You better watch out for that guy. Exactly. What if he gets it flipped on him? <laughs> look, at, look at the thread. Look at how many people chimed in with being like, oh, yeah, me too. I've always thought that. You know, like all of the me tooers. The ones that didn't actually even take the time to comb through that thread and look for the wisdom, but they just kind of ignored and skated over all of the comments that you made, Dave, all of the ones that made any sense, and they were just like, oh yeah, me too, blah, 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 you know? I think that they're MK Aldred as well. Like, I just am like, really? Like, you didn't actually take the time to read everything before you chimed in with your comment? Like, I yeah, know that there's a ton of comments, but still, it's like... That, it's that kinda, isn't helping it's, his case. You it's kind of like it's kind of like on on deviant art, and thankfully there there were only a, a, just a few people who did this. But when this guy, William Black, who like ended up like stalking me and finding my phone number and leaving a creepy little voicemail, but that's besides the point. <laughs> you know, he 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 was talking all this slander about about me and Rich and Rich's group, uh, NASA headquarters on deviant art, where he. He has a group for, you know, aerospace and all that. And this guy got all... The group is filled with unrationalizing scum. I am William Black. 
I am the Lord and Savior of the universe. I yeah, rule but, your soul. But he was talking about us like very similarly to the way Jordan is, is talking about, you know, Abram Hicks and all that, but to a different perspective. And there were a few people on his journals that he wrote that were just essentially headline readers, as we call them. Um, you know, they didn't bother reading all the threads. They didn't really look into who said what or what the actual situation was. They just believed the slander and was just like, oh, yeah, well, Rich and Dave, they're just, they're, they're this and they're that and blah, blah, blah. And like, no discernment whatsoever. When really what had started the whole thing is I posted the same video that I posted in, in this Facebook thread, the um, Removing Mental Malware by Larkin Rose. It's all I did. That was my only crime. And, um, you know, he got all butthurt and decided to go on a vendetta. It, it, all, it all ended up to nothing. He just ended up shutting up and the whole thing ended up dying down. But it was, it was pretty amusing. But headline readers, that's, that's the, the, the context I'm speaking in. There's people that they just read the headline. You know, the same thing with the people who are like, don't watch the mainstream news. Only watch independent news. Well, mainstream news has truth, too. Mainstream news has the truth of the tactics being used against us, you know, when you know how to, to view it the right way. But when you say, oh, shun the mainstream, I'm just going to watch independence only, you're still taking a news source as authority. You're not using discernment. So instead of being brainwashed by the mainstream news, now you're just being brainwashed by the independent news because you're not thinking critically. <laughs> uh -huh. I think it's my turn now. Yeah, why don't you read some of the stuff so that we get, get through this at some point prior to hell freezing over. So, yeah, let's continue. Okay. Um, well, I pulled up the link in a Firefox application because I can read it better because I don't have all my customized Facebook colors. Charged up. Oh. There's somebody in the room, I think. Uh, sorry, no, that was just my husband. <laughs> anyway, um, scrolling down a little bit. I see a lot of comments in here. I mean, there's a lot of interesting perspectives, like one by Dana Hooper. It is not measured and controlled. It is done by frequency, vibrationally, by you showing up authentically within the parameters of inherent worth, the pieces, all of them are simply players on the board that shift around your true identity. Just call the matter at hand, a subplot, give it not the power of your fear in doing so, the outcome will be as you desire. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of mixed comments in here, some that are really well stated, that are really well said, and then there are other comments in here that are you know, yeah, headline reading comments that are just um, I mean, like I said, I haven't gotten a chance to read it every last comment on here. I mean, it's a huge thread, but um, just skimming over it, I mean, it's just a lot of well-said stuff. And I'm sucking at this narration mm. thing right now. Well, let's go through and actually read it. In my opinion, the only hesitance about reading it is just kind of like the confidence issues you know, coming up, and especially within the situations you've been going through lately that we won't go into here with certain other control freaks reflecting things. But um, <laughs> anyway, just just read through it. I mean, it won't won't take that long. Um, you know how to read stuff. You narrate just fine. So okay. well, you know, don't is, if, if you want to if you want to do it verbatim. I'm thinking narration in the sense of giving perspective. That's the traditional yeah. narration. Well, you, I well, you can do that too. Read it verbatim and anything you have to comment on what you just read, then comment and then me and Katarina will chime in too okay. and we'll just, we'll just move forward. Okay, I'm going to start with the very, very first comment in that case. Then the teacher within is always the best teacher. I agree with that. Um, yet again, a totally agree man comment. The teal groupies, wow, controlled opposition has spiritual division. Yet again, an agreement. This is why I like you. I've been following very similar things about Abraham Hicks. I already read this one for a while, but it's been something I can't pull, put my finger on. I just know to listen with, to my intuition now. If something is off, it's because it is. If something 
someone doesn't feel 100% genuine, they're not, period. You already heard my five cents on that. Um, Jordan comments, Jim Jones, all over again, Michael, I don't like it, not one bit, yet again. Him persecuting someone else that he doesn't agree with, and I could later did. I see him commenting down below saying that he doesn't have a problem with perspectives, but yet again, the way he's acting in the thread would kind of suggest otherwise. I'll get on to that one here a little uh, later. Dan yeah, Hooper comments, doesn't matter higher vibra vibrationality than the masses. They may plot all they want. It's past the point of all return. It is a good day to be alive. I agree. I agree with that in part. It's, a good, it's always a good day to be alive. It's a miracle to be on this planet. Michael Dobin Gray, interesting too, when she was rolled out, she was so popular so quickly. And some dude comments, mind, or woman comments, mind control. Ellen Barkin. Michael Dobin Gray, explain Dana. Maggie Shaw, please, I'm trying to understand what you mean as well. And Hooper, it's not measured in mind control, it's done in frequency, and I already read that one. Michael Dovin Gray, my favorite video by Teal is where she says that the New Age movement is not a PSYOP. It's just a lot of questions, blah, blah, blah. Jerish Hobbs, a lot of what they speak is the truth, yet the energy they hold intentions away for false, light, deceptive forces to hook onto people's fields. They want to feed off of people attracted to that stuff because their positive, high, vib high, high vibrational energy, soul essence, tastes good, the best fuel ever. Yeah. Well, well, well to, to, to me, to me, that one right there, in my opinion, was kind of a. A psychological projection. What they're talking wow. about is, is trolling, that that addiction to ego domination, and really that that energy van vampirism is the authoritativeness. So like you know what he's saying right there is like, oh well, I'm going to point my finger and be authoritative and call poopy poopy on the other person because it makes me feel good to troll someone like that. And that you know, I'm not I'm not dissing on them. We're all taught to be like that because we are raised in this Nazi society. It is a subconscious mechanism. There is you know, most people are not consciously plotting like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> you know, it's not like pinky in the brain. These are all subconscious reflexes, but it is a psychological projection. Um, and it's just interesting, you know, the, tr the, the the troll calling troll on someone who's not even trolling, kind of pulling a William Black. So I found that to be interesting. Yeah, and then I just noticed this Jacob Green guy, and he's like, you have more potential than to spend your time writing and discussing things like this. That's just his way of saying, this is bullshit. I don't even want to deal with this crap. Screw everyone. We just need to shut up and be chill. Yeah, let's not let's not discuss anything. Critical thinking is bad. Discernment is bad. Let's just type LOL on our screens and go play Mario Kart or something because actually <laughs> actually engaging actually engaging with your fellow human beings is bullshit and it's a waste of time. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, he's being a crybaby whining little and it's kind of funny. Well, I think when th things like this come up and people actually are faced with stuff like this and they have to feel into themselves for the truth, it's almost easier to just run the opposite direction. And that's how um, that paradigm, that New Age paradigm, as Dave so likes to call it, um, I don't know, it does have people trapped in that way. It's like, oh, you're so low vibration for even talking about this stuff. You know, like, what would they even make of us? You know, I've noticed that there's not that many people giving us the time of day, but everybody's chiming in on, you know, this dualistic bandwagon where they're like, oh, yeah, they're so great, or oh, yeah, they're so horrible in MK Ultra, you know. But nobody actually wants to stop for a second and be like, huh, hold up. Wait a minute. Let's look at this. Let's there's lay out a, there, all the cards on the table. There's a few. There's a few people who who aligned with us, and I there's mean, a couple, uh, other, but other, just other, other, majority. 
the yeah, overwhelming other than, majority. Yeah, and I gone. mean, other than other than our friends who chimed in, you know, other than other than Tiffany, other than Kristen, other than those people. I mean, there were a few others who read oh, our know. points. I I read all of the conversation. My yeah, point, though, but you're right. That, yeah. You're right. The overwhelming, the majority, overwhelming majority is like. We don't even want to acknowledge what they said. Again, it's pulling a William Black because on DeviantArt, whenever Rich and I made a valid point and asked a question, Mr. Black, what do you think of this point? He just ignored the fact that we even said it. He pretended like not a word was uttered, and he just stuck with what resonated with him but completely ignored and shunned like it didn't even exist. Any questions exactly. that, that, that we asked that were actually intelligent, reasonable, non-dualistic questions. So we see a lot of that going on here to where yeah. you, me, you and me and Rich and, and Kristen and Tiffany are being completely ignored by the majority because what we are saying is so inconvenient that, that the trolls don't even want to troll. We're like a threat to the trolls even. The trolls exactly. want, to, want to pretend we're not there. The you know, why, don't thing, we, though? why don't we just call trolls crouch syndrome? They crouch comments, they crouch away, they scurry away like little <laughs> crouch roaches. And Crouch was actually his last name. Crouch. Mm. William Crouch. Yeah, yeah I have William, something Will, to William, say here. Will, William Wesley Crouch, which we found out his name when he DMCA'd one of my Google Hangouts. And he, he lost well, that. I got the video back, but that was fraudulent. Go ahead, Katarina. Sorry, Dave. Uh, I thought the funniest thing, though, was that uh, Jordan kind of opened up this whole can of worms. And I love Jordan. I've been following him for years, you know, and I just think that he said a lot of really cool stuff over the years, but he kind of chickened out by saying, yeah, um, <laughs> you know, he just was like, oh, yeah, this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to drop this bomb on this news feed and, like, just everybody's going to go berserk and then I'm going to be like, oh, don't have time for this. Oh, I'm going to delete this feed, you know, playing all of these manipulation games and, like, trying to quote-unquote test people. And, you know, not really wanting to stick around for the aftermath. I just thought that that was really funny. I have a question. Who is Jordan? I don't even know who this Jordan is. Jordan is Leia's boyfriend. That is an irony in and of itself. Uh, that's what I was trying to tell you, that, that, you know, Jordan and Leia had a baby together, and, like, this is uh, Leia's baby daddy. You know, this is a total synchronicity, but as Katarina was talking about that, I'm looking exactly at some comments where Mr. Jordan Levine is contradicting himself. Yeah, I mean, he's I going mean, through his own her, process her, her, right her, now. Her, yeah, obviously, and I totally <laughs> respect it because we all go through it, but I'm looking at one of his comments here, and you scroll down, and he's kind of like, my view and issue don't really have one. I'm, I'm rather neutral to it all, but I know others right. are not. And I'm like, wait a minute, so who's the one who's throwing persecutory opinions about somebody and saying, you know, it's a psyop, shun these people because I said so. It's like, okay, so you're saying, do what I say, but now you're going to reverse it and say, oh, no, I'm of no opinion. And it's like, really? I am, I am neutral in my lack of neutralness. No one is neutral if they're talking about psyops and MK ultras and trying to slander names of big celebrity people in the New Age spiritual movement. You know, that's like what Alex Jones does. And he's definitely not neutral. Well, Alex Jones, I will say, and I will say in his defense, just hear me out. I mean, he, yeah, he's a very passionate man, but... I mean, I've gone back and I've watched stuff from like back in the early days and how he's he's grown as an individual over time, how he's changed his tactics. Because back in the day, he was all about fear porn and he was all about, you know, oh, if it happens, it happens. You know, the globalists will do it. They're going to do this, this they're going to do that. And I think he's kind of gotten to the idea of like, wait a minute, just because we whistleblow something doesn't mean they're going to go right ahead and do it anyway. But mm -hmm. anyway, that's another discussion for another time. You know, he's gone through his processes, and he is going through his processes like everybody yeah. else. 
I, I agree. I, I've I've noticed that too. He's realized that when he uh, when he puts out all the fear, he's actually catering to what the globalists want. And he stopped for a second, and was just like, "What the hell am I doing? I'm completely stabbing myself in the face with a fork here. What am I doing?" And then he shifted his platform to, "Don't be afraid. If we get the information out, then they probably won't do it." So he totally shifted mm -hmm. into a more empowering thing rather than disempowering. I mean, granted, he's still a little judgmental and paranoid, but he's vastly improved compared to what he used to be even two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember right. <laughs> a long time ago. I, I do like Alex, though, because he does have this persona that's kind of hilarious. You know, he'll get, he'll get all charged up and we'll get into these rants and stuff that he just... He just kind of gives a hearty laugh. I mean, you know, it's just kind of like he's doing the man's man thing, you know. But anyway, I mean, that's another discussion for another time. But anyway, you know, yeah, Jordan's contradicting himself multiple times. Um, I'm just let's I'm, I'm, let's let's move forward with reading reading this stuff. Like I said, let's let's let everybody get their fair shake in and try not to <clears throat> exclude anybody. Everybody's perspective is valid, and they have the right to say it, whether we agree with it or not. So let's you know let's let everybody get their two cents in and read it off, huh? Yeah, um, there was another comment here that I thought was really good. Um, besides a lot of the agreement stuff, you know, just small talk. Um, Vito Mush. Can't even really say that. M U C C I. Vito is his first name. Sounds like an Italian. V v v v Vito Musi is, I think, how you would pronounce it. Oh, Musi. I know him. Vito Musi. Yeah, kind of, kind of almost Italian. But, he hangs uh, out in a course of awakening. Uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like his comment. Um, Abraham isn't. Abraham isn't even a person. Her name is Esther. Abraham is the name of the source speaking through her. Source, God, you know, whatever you want to call it, buzzword. Um, never found anything she said to be inaccurate and complete. Yes, many times. Been following her for decades and have explained, expanded on the ideas, used them fully, successfully, and understand their foundation in the scientific world. Teal may be doubted, though, not manipulative enough. Just a question, what's your issue on their message? I know what mine is with Alex Jones. I wrote a paper on it. I would like to see the paper because I would like to read his perspective, honestly, because, you know, just saying you wrote a paper on something doesn't really do it for me. I'd kind of like to see what you wrote, you know, and just kind of take it in as information and, you know, put those constructs to own personal use, whether I, you know, fully agree, somewhat agree, you know, what it, wherever you stand. Hey, Rich. What's yours with them? Hmm? I just wanted you to know that uh, I actually have a computer in front of me now. So when you're not wanting to actually read anymore, I can do it for you. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, I would. Kind yeah. Of like well, that. why don't why don't why don't we let Katarina actually take a, take a shift on this then? Because um, let's let's let her get her thoughts in and stuff, and you know. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pa I'm gonna pass the torch over. So, but anyway. <laughs> All yeah, right. So. Just on a final, I mean, on this veto thing, I, you know, yeah, I, I can agree with that. And I would mainly the only thing I can find objectionable is just I would like to see that paper. I would like to see his ideas, and it's not an objection. Why don't you send him a way. message? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Vito, Vito's a cool guy. Just send him a message. He's cool. Yeah. Yeah, and um, you know, I'm also wanting you guys to do the narration because. In, in most of the, of my Google Hangouts, by default, I tend to be the one saying everything about everything with people putting in, you know, little two cents here and there. But, you know, Understand. I don't want to be the one. I don't want to be the one dominating this. I'm always by default dominating the Google Hangouts, and I don't really don't want to do that. So I'm only talking right now to give Katarina an opportunity to get her computer set up. Uh, oh, it's already all set up. Okay, then I'll I'll shut up and you can pick up where Rich left off. All right. So Lindsay Summers said, I can't remember where I read this, but I believe before the Abraham Hicks thing, they were Amway salespeople, and I think that they are just marketing New Age crap in that same sort of scheme. Eh, interesting. Um, then Michael Devon Gray says, explain how this amazing 
and this amazing balls entity wasn't able to save Esther's husband and how she is unhealthy herself. Not much awareness there at all. But a good show, the vibrational match show, even Einstein knew that, not new knowledge. I think that this Michael Devon Gray yeah. guy is kind of funny. Because yeah, I, I why, wanna... would, why would entities save Esther's husband? No kidding. I want to. Like wanna, everyone has to die eventually. I want to. I want to comment on that too. Like you know, we look at, you know, when we study into biology, neurology, DNA, quantum physics, all that, and we start to discover that yes, aging is a disease. We can actually he heal ourselves. Our thoughts, emotions, beliefs, and stuff do actually determine the reality, and physical reality is just a quantum hologram made of light. Once we realize that, our Nazi programming kicks in, and then it's like, oh, well, if that's true, I should just be able to snap my fingers and do it then, and if I can't, well, then obviously it's a fraud then. It doesn't work. Right. It's like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. That's like saying... I've never ridden a bicycle before, and I have now discovered bicycles. If I can't jump on right now and ride that bicycle like an Olympic marathon athlete, then this bicycle must be a fraud. This is a sham. This is something a charlatan created. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's that dichotomy. It's like not just because you come across knowledge that something is possible doesn't mean that you're going to be able to snap your fingers and learn it all and do it all. So, hey, you know, Abraham Hicks, Esther, Jerry, whatever, they had this knowledge that, you know, could have saved Jerry's life and could extend Esther's life, but they also have their own paradigms they're dealing with. How many times have you and me saw that we both know what we know, but despite the fact that we know it, it's still not believable. It rages mm -hmm. against our own paradigms. Like, yeah, I know that I know that, but I can't really seem to click into that and do it because I have this other paradigm that I've dealt with for so long that says I'm nothing and I'm worthless and I can't do that. And I've had so many years of people telling me how horrible and terrible and worthless and religion and this and that and da-da-da. So that is like this big ominous whale compared to this little tuna fish of empowering information. And and if we don't take the time to, to make the shift from one to the other, then, yeah, you know, things are going to happen. Like, you know, paradigms are going to rage so hard inside of us that, oh, look, Jerry got cancer and died because the new paradigm was raging against the old. He couldn't resolve that conflict and he left the building of this reality. And Esther may or may not figure out how to heal herself and extend her life. Instead of instead of knowing that, okay, I can continue to use this knowledge to help myself and connect with higher self and maybe even communicate more with Jerry like I, like I do with Abraham so I don't have to feel that loss of Jerry and I can feel connected. Instead of doing that, she might go to her old paradigms from before she was even channeling and going, oh, woe is me, Jerry's gone, whatever am I going to do, I don't care that I have this empowering knowledge, I'm going to fall back on my old paradigms and then her health will continue to degrade and then she might just go join Jerry. It, we're humans, we have free will. Just because knowledge exists Exist, doesn't mean that knowledge is a fraud when we as individuals decide to lack the balls to use it properly. That's just a part of the human experience. That's I'll shut up on that now. Yeah, I I totally agree. And what this is kind of showing me, Dave, is that I that that judgment about you know feeling like you have to be perfect before you can actually help anyone, you know. Like, so this, this Michael guy is talking about how unhealthy they are, and he, she died, well, he died, and uh, she's unhealthy, and stuff like that, and how critical and judgmental people can be about teachers, if, because, I mean, the truth is, is that the teacher is just the conduit uh, for the information, and whether or not they're channeling, they're still passing through a message. And I, and I think that some of the wisest people I know have been some of the people who have faced some of the most intense health challenges. And if that you doesn't know what? make them any less valid. Yeah, you know what? It, it, it would be like saying, you have a book 
on how to be an auto mechanic. So if you don't become the world's best auto mechanic, that means the information in the book is a fraud. Mm -hmm. And that's just ridiculous thinking. People are expecting Esther to not be human just because Which is she's silly because relaying she information. Has even she has even admitted herself on multiple occasions, like in, on in many of her her uh, audios, that you know Abraham was saying one thing, and then she was being her human self, and then you know Abraham was right, but she didn't listen, and whoops, you know something happened, and she frequently points to that the fact that she is human, and just because she has the ability to channel doesn't make her impervious or totally perfect. So. I agree. Anyway, so let, I'll, let's, let's I'll, continue, I'll continue. continue forward. Yep. Dana Hooper. It means that if awakening is the result of the race, then any attachment to intention to control is futile. Jordan is right when he says, look within. Simply do not curse others to do so. Just like when you lift weights, resistance makes that which is resisted stronger. That is the rule. Simply detach and begin to hear the truth from within and walk in that. I'm saying being a treasure hunter instead of a trash collector. Clear your space. In the days of the California gold rush, it took manually panning and washing away two metric tons of dirt and rock for each ounce of gold collected. Yet they still did it. Because of the value of the treasure, because the value of the treasure was far greater than the worthlessness of the trash. If you see something to be trash, let it wash downstream and give your energy to the treasure. I like that comment. Um, well, I have, I, have, I, have, I, have, I have one thing to say about it, too, right quick. Um, oftentimes, the, 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 the journey, you see, but I agree with her, except for the part where she's saying that the journey of experience is the trash. Isn't that another form of treasure in and of itself, just a different type of yeah, treasure? Yeah, again, by synchronistic alignment, what Dave said, well, it's just going into the historical context, a lot of the ore that they processed getting a lot of that gold because they were moving at such a fast rate they were processing that stuff so hard and they were mining it so hard that a lot of the ore that they didn't want to take time to split open there there have been numerous occasions where people have gone back to those old piles of ore of you know just raw calcite ore and all that other stuff that they pulled out during the gold rush and they've opened that stuff up and they find high quantities, high concentrations of gold locked inside that ore that they had failed to collect because they were too busy, you know, throwing it downstream, you know. <laughs> so yet again, it kind of aligns with what Dave's saying. That's my only real thing that I have to say that I disagree with. It's like, you know, just because you're shedding things doesn't necessarily mean it's garbage and it should just automatically be tossed into the, the waste bin and forgotten about because that garbage, you can open it up and look inside and go, oh, gee, there is something very precious there and something very worth having that can be turned into a positive construct. You know, what is the treasure without the lesson of how you got there? Mm -hmm. But anyway, continue. Okay. So Jordan says... My view and quote-unquote issue, and in parentheses he says, don't really have one, I'm rather neutral to it all, but I know others are not, uh, is not so much on the groups or people doing the manipulating, rather the forces and energy currents I see moving through them and how they affect people who get trapped into that current, or who get tapped I, I, into that current. Uh, that is representative of an, of an analogy that I use all the time, the analogy of the car battery people judging the negative prong as evil and the positive prong as good. What happens if you remove the wire to the negative prong? You cannot start the car of that forward movement through your reality. You can't. You need both. Negative pushes positive 
and vice versa. It's all just a, a symbiotic relationship between energies. Um, you know, one, one prong of electricity isn't good and the other isn't evil. And if we shun one, that is the dysfunction. That is the co-opting. That is Anakin turning into Darth Vader. So, you know, that's all I have to say on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael Dovin Gray uh, Jordan, you are about to see the parade of the spiritual teddy bears lol <laughs> and then Jordan says I figured I may end up deleting this thread so I don't spend any time on it just felt it was worth saying for some reason we'll see um Go ahead and delete it if you want, Jordan, because we're making sure it's never deleted. It's going to be on YouTube forever and ever and ever and ever (laughs) and ever. (laughs) All right, Feather Bhakti Chakra says following. Then Dana Hooper says, if everyone on the planet would simultaneously find inner peace, world peace would be the automatic result. It's it is time to focus on the one in order to find the one. It is truly that simple. Michael Dovin Gray says, This dimension psyops. Intel the, has been involved in the new I have a qu- sorry. I have a quick comment on, on what um uh, what Dana said, what Dana Hooper said. Mm-hmm. Um actually when it when it comes to world peace, most people think world peace is everybody getting getting along and dancing around the campfire well that is actually the definition of nazism world peace is simply the end to conflict that means when you give yourself the right to hate and you give yourself the right to be hated instead of like oh i hate that person so i have to go hurt them or kill them or oh that person hates me so now they got to go commit more and genocide against me when you give everyone the right to how they feel instead of judging it there is an end to conflict and the end to conflict is peace peace. Not everybody agreeing with each other in Hitler's wet dream paradise of of one world order, one world religion, and everybody thinking the same thing. That's Mm -hmm. That's not inner knowing and higher reality. That is the fucking Borg. Resistance is futile. You will be assimilated. All right. so Michael Dovin Gray says, this dimension psyops. Intel has been involved in the New Age movement from its inception. Google CIA and ACIM in the same search. Wink. Eh, I've never actually heard that the CIA had anything to do with the Course in Miracles. Actually, uh, um, as, uh, he's talking about the the movement going way back, even before the '60s and the buildup. Um, that is that is that is actually true, but people confuse the metaphysical information and the people involved with the 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 idea of new age and and the psyop itself because people get too hung up on on words and labels. Mm-hmm. That what the what the psyop actually is is exactly what I was expressing, getting people to view information as an authority or god over them, so then it doesn't matter what anybody actually says. Everybody's just gonna get all butt hurt, and they're either gonna blindly follow a guru or they're gonna shun the whole thing. Either way, the the information is kept away from the people. And that is the psyop. And mm-hmm. until recently, it's been fairly successful. Um, but now people are starting to wake up to dichotomies and go, "Oh wait, we've been on a hamster wheel. Maybe we should jump off the wheel." Right. Well, thank you for that, Dave. Interesting perspective. Nicole Adriana Casanova says, "Stirring the honeycomb." He he he! False prophets. Ravita Gunpat says, I think keeping this post and sharing your thought is a good thing. Please do not delete. Michael Dovin Gray says, not to mention I linked to it from my page. Jesse Doreen Catalina says, that's interesting because my love came across a lot of info online saying that Teal's followers are cult-like. Apparently she has a lot of former followers calling her a fraud. Maggie Shaw says, I'm confused, hey. Jacob. What? I have a lot. I have a lot of former followers calling me a fraud. It's simple. The second I have an opinion that differs from them, they get butt hurt, and that makes me a fraud. Apparently. Mm-hmm. Apparently. People. Oh goodness. I just. I think it's so interesting how people just throw around accusations. 
and slander just like just like it's nothing, you know? Anyways. I, I agree. Maggie Shaw says, I'm confused, Jacob. I see Jordan as expressing a sincere concern about following people who are not out for our highest good. Hmm. Everything I've ever come across in all of the people that he was if, talking about. Sorry, if you disagree, all... if if you disagree with me, you're not out for my highest good. Shame on you, Katarina, for being an individual. You're a bad girl. <laughs> right, but I'm saying though that every single person that he was talking about, they all just want people to have freedom from their suffering. Like, and they're pursuing it in the way that they see as the most plausible. Like, like how is that not being out for your highest good? Just because it doesn't agree with you doesn't mean that they're not, their intention is not to be out for your high, their highest good. Like, like nobody can actually judge that based on, you know, their perception of whether or not they're out for their highest good. Oh, yes, well, that is the Nazism of the New World Hitler Order. It's my way or the highway. If you do not agree with the Reich, then you are not for the highest good of the Reich, because the Reich is for the highest good of humanity. So if you are against the One World Order Reich of blah, 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 then you are a poopy, poopy face. And we all have that inner Hitler. Hitler's just a psychological projection <laughs> on a mass scale, but we all have that inner Hitler. Hitler that says, if you don't do it my way, then then you're bad, you're evil, and you're misleading. You're not out for our highest good. Because you're not doing it my way. You're not doing it as to what my vision of my highest good for everybody is. Wait a minute. You're trying to force your will on everybody, and you think that your view of, how, of what's highest good for you is, is supposed to be that which everybody is supposed to also inherit? Does not that make you a forceful Nazi? You're not doing it my way, so you're not out for the highest good of all. Wait, what? Zikai? Adolf Feller. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Jordan says, I agree, Jacob, but this is an experiment. I, del I may delete the thread momentarily. Just wanted to see what kind of energy came into play. Smile. People learn things and come to conclusions from comments like this at times. Then Maggie says, testing us. LOL. And then Ellen Barkin says, it's all good as long as you know your own mind and heart. Vanessa Rima says, what does New Age actually teach you? And in Courtney... In introducing Jordan, the master of the cop-out. Cop-out guru. Jordan, the master. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like he, he drops his true opinion and then runs out and says, oh, it was just a test. Courtney Baxter. Jordan, it says if it says you're a mutual friend of Teal when I click on her profile. I wonder if this will show up in her news feed, LOL. This is a test of the emergency butthurt system. This is only a test. Had it been actual real butthurtedness, Jordan would have posted a thingy and there would have been all these butthurt comments. Oh wait, that did actually happen. Guess it wasn't a test after all. My bad. <laughs> let me let me do let me do the ESA computer voice. To avoid fallout, lock your doors and windows. Stay inside at all times. Do not interact with others, as this will increase the butthurt. Do what your government tells you via television and radio. Use no discernment. This has been a test of the ESA butthurt alert system. <laughs> <laughs> Close your windows and install Linux. Oh, funny. All right, I'm going to continue. Isaac Alexander Ibanez says, Yeah, Kurt Hardesty warned me about those people, too. I like plant teachers, although it's just one way to see. Angel R. Padilla, Padilla, probably, put a little emoticon face that was just kind of like mm, flat eyes 
Jordan Levine says, Vanessa, how to ignore reality and think positively, of course, and also how to blindly be eaten up by spiritual forces you have no ability to perceive. And then Jordan says, OMG, Angel, that is awesome, about the little drawing that he posted. And Angel says, why, thank you, LOL. Jordan says, Courtney, I sure hope so. Ha, ha, ha. I didn't even By the know way, the, the, I was her those friend. Things, those things are actually animating, animated, so seeing as I'm doing a screen share, I've been hovering over them so that they animate as you're talking about them. <laughs> oh, okay, now I'm looking at it. <laughs> Little animated things. All right. Angel says, LMAO. Michael Dovin Gray says, Jordan, I call that whistling, whistling in the dark. It is a psyops that conditions apathy. Angel says, thank you, Jordan. You have brought awesome yes. answer to my morning. What? Yes, because shunning everybody else's view and calling it evil and saying your only way, your way is the only right thinking. That's not apathy at all. Good job. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Tara Lee says, Thank you, Jordan. I have believed this for years, and finally somebody else is saying it. Tara, if you believed it for years, why wouldn't you say it? Jordan says, It's a conversation that needs to be had for many people. This is by far the worst place for it, but it's the only place that it can be done for many. Uh, book top nanja nananha somebody like had these really random letters <laughs> on their name uh it's but, Russian Cyrillic yeah <laughs> yeah but by, by, by the way um if it's okay um I'd like to give both Katarina and the viewing audience uh, a little bit of a, a treat here because um if it's okay I'd like to have Bill Clinton explained why the New World Order is uh, butthurt about the awakening of humanity. Bill Clinton, are you here to explain the butthurt? I'm here to, have to explain the butthurt to you and to the listening audience on PSAC. <laughs> New World Order is awfully butthurt because we can't keep it hidden anymore. They opened up our fly and we can't close it. It's really crazy. They keep bending us over, and synchronicity keeps raping us in the ass. That's getting really old. <laughs> what was that? That was Bill that Clinton was explaining the butthurt. Fun. Yeah. Hey, is is um is is Darth Vader here to explain Anakin's butthurt? I don't think so. I think he's too busy on the Death Star. Oh, oh no, wait, no. What Death Star? Yeah. Um. So no, no Darth Vader impression today. You're not in the mood. Well, no. It's just that sometimes my voice can do it, and then sometimes my voice is like all. Um. Well, may, maybe, oh, wow. maybe, maybe Kissinger likes wants to explain how much he enjoys Obama's rectum. Obama's rectum is soft and malleable, like my hands. It is so easy to control, like the New World Order. It's very easy to do and have my way with him. <laughs> Just like Mr. Flint. It's very, very lovely. Whenever I do him, I smell flowers and roses of all the dead that I've killed in a hundred years of mass conflict. It is quite wonderful. I think the New World Order is a very real proposition for the planet. And I don't care about anybody says because I am ignorant. Dude. Yeah. This this is an educational comedy after all. We needed to spice things up a little. <laughs> that was great. Conti con con continue, Katarina. Okay. So the Russian dude says, So you haven't understood Abraham. I'm sorry for what you are missing. But if you ever want to take another look, look at the books or workshop recordings, not only at memes. And then Jordan says, Dude, you have no idea who I am. I wrote in a magazine that another Abraham channel started. I didn't fit in very well there. 
I didn't fit in there very well. Dude, you have no idea who I am. Because because if you're giving your perspective about somebody or something, and I disagree with that perspective, then obviously that that's all about me. You're attacking me by not agreeing with me. So, dude, you have, you have no idea who I am because cause, cause your, your perspective is different than mine, and I'm getting butt hurt. So that means you have no idea who I am. Cause, cause it's everything's about me and like, like yeah. So don't make me like delete this thread like a like a pussy little bitch. Mm-hmm. Rachel Lynn says, "Cherish Hobbs. Great describing. That's exactly how I feel too. How I feel it too. Just because something is quote unquote correct doesn't mean it inherently deserves attention. But that's the energy these sorts of messengers carry." What I am saying is most correct, and you know it. Pay me your attention, and in turn, you will feel good about it until it wears off and you need your next fix. You know, I actually haven't listened to Abraham Hicks in probably about six months, but I don't feel like I need a a quote-unquote fix. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like I listened to her pretty intensely for a short period of time, and her I think stuff it's, uh, still stays with me. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like the stuff that yeah. they were talking about stays with me, and I just look at things in a different way. It's not I like think a it's, heroin addict. Like yeah, I think I think it's funny how when people who feel that they need their fix, that they need that, they then go and go and blame the speaker. Like, oh, well, that person is just expressing themselves and speaking out and being themselves and not trying to domineer me, but I like it and I need my fix and I'm getting my fix from them. So that obviously means that they're doing something against me because I'm too butthurt to deal with my own paradigms. That's their fault. I'm not going to take responsibility. That's basically right. what I'm what I'm reading from that. Right, it's like, no one says that you need to, like, constantly listen to these people religiously. Like, that is your choosing, if you're choosing to religiously listen to their content. And no one is victimizing you or making you feel like you have to treat all of this stuff like it's some religion. Like, where is where are people getting this idea from? Honestly. Like, it's just information. It's not cramming itself down your throat. Well, we know where they're getting it from. Let's see, the educational system and society at large raising us and brainwashing us to be what we become, and now we're kind of in the process of shedding it. But, yeah, that's mm-hmm. why that's why a lot of people are afraid of being themselves. You know, it's exactly the same mentality as, like, seventh graders, like, well, if you don't if you don't excel at this and that and, and you don't be yourself and, 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 and you don't succeed, then you're a failure and you're stupid. Then all of a sudden you do excel and you are yourself and you do succeed. It's like, oh my God, that is so inappropriate that you're succeeding. You are so arrogant and so self-centered and so inconsiderate. You just think you're so much better than everybody else, don't you? So it's like a Mm -hmm. setup, like damned if you do, damned if you don't, because these people just aren't happy unless they just aren't happy. You know what I mean? So you you can't you can't reason with people like that. Well, then, and also seeing stuff like this makes me realize like why I haven't put myself out there more than I have already, is because there's people like this, you know, that I've just been terrified of facing, and so this whole thread is just. It's been synchronistically reflective for me in the sense that I get to face all of the, these fears that I've been having and, like, being yeah. able to poke holes in the logic of yeah. the people who would be saying stuff like this because it's, like, it really it, it really doesn't have any legs, you know? And simultaneously, you're allowing in synchronistically the support of two of the most bravely sarcastic sons of bitches that are in your vicinity. So here here we are. <laughs> yeah, you guys are hilarious. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you are just beautiful and adorable in your sovereignty as you just call shit on butthurt little butthurt people. Mm-hmm. Screw you, Katarina. You can't do that. That hurts my feelings. 
I'm you sorry you have such sensitive feelings. You're possessed by a dark entity because you're saying opinions that, that I don't like and, and because you're I, human and oh gosh, you're not allowed Steve, to be human. Not, not, to, not to diverge from this topic too hardcore because I understand that this is being recorded and other people are going to listen to this, but he called me and he apologized. Wow, you mean the, the guy that, that... Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, Dark Entity guy. Yeah, 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 the one who, who used his intuition to look at Paul, but he was passing his ener energetic abilities through his mental malware filters. So instead of seeing that Paul was in the process of a, right. a positive shift, he was viewing it as, oh my god, there's a dark en energy or entity attached to Paul. I don't know if I if I want to deal with you people. And, you know, I, I'm going to go like... Sod exactly. I'm going to go sodomize myself with my crystals now to, so well, I'm apparently, butter. apparently the <laughs> Hopi elder guy that was hanging out there and doing that weird water healing ceremony and everything like he ended up being bad news and then uh, John for some reason like just started seeing clearly and you know called me up and apologized and told me that shit went down with that guy and he was sorry he's been dealing with like Signics now. And so, you know, when you told us what we did with, like, all that rose quartz and stuff, like, I really think that yeah. something just totally yeah. well, exacts him. It, it, yeah, as far as the perceptions of um, uh, the outsiders looking in, I'm going to speak euphemistically as to not get into too much detail, but I I will euphemistically state that um, it seems you ha you successfully charged his crystals in that FiberCon sort of way <laughs> as we discussed. And I'm I'm just gonna gonna that's just for, you know, me and you to understand what's being said there. I'm just speaking in this way to keep private information private because mm -hmm. I'm not trying to air anybody's dirty laundry or whatever, but you know what I mean by that, so. Oh, sure. <laughs> anyway. So it, it, it worked, and I knew it, I knew it worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and, you got, and you got your so, apology, so cool. Mm -hmm. I did, and I didn't have to send a letter. So, Maria Mars. I've been following Cameron Day for some time. He's written about claiming his sovereignty and rejecting the role of light worker because of sensed nefarious manipulation. I have read his blogs on the subject. He also has podcasts where he discusses the subject of your post. I haven't yet yet listened to them. I'm on the same page as you, Jordan. There is a different quality of work and self remembering that needs both. Um, not a boat beta says, Jordan, who are some of the teachers that you respect? I've read that there? too. Then Ellen, what? Oh, I was going to, I was trying to say, I, I read that too, that his whole, his whole rant about why I'm no longer a light worker. And in my opinion, that's the other, that's the other side of the light worker dichotomy. He thinks he's exited the dichotomy. He's just you know, move from one side of it to the other. So he's he's the whole light worker anti light worker is one coin, two sides of one coin. He thinks he's you know pitched the coin into the fountain, but he hasn't. He's just gone to tails instead of heads. But he's still stu mm -hmm. stuck in a dichotomy without realizing it, and there's no way to really get him to see. He'll either see it eventually or he won't. But he thinks he's exited the dichotomy. He has not. But he either will or won't mm -hmm. find this out himself. I see. Uh, then Ellen Barkin says, I'd be interested in knowing that tale. The quote-unquote real ones. Uh, and Jordan says, mostly martial arts teachers that no one has ever heard of. Okay. Names, maybe? That would be cool. So we can see who you're comparing all of this stuff to would be nice. Rather than being, like, so mysterious and elusive. Yeah, but that would be damned inconvenient. It's like on the news when they say, some people say, some people say, some people say, some people say. And we're supposed uh -huh. to take that as some sort of credible authority. Because these elusive some people... Kind of like William Black with G+. Well, people on G+, said that something was written in a book somewhere about something, so they must be right. It's like, okay, whatever. Some people say. Scientists on 
on a unprecedented basis believe that global warming is man-made and there is no other possible reality. Scientists say, who are those scientists? Where are the credible papers? Where's the scientific articles saying that global warming is 100% man-made? There are none because it's not. It's all natural. <clears throat> Climate change is not something that is natural, that, that happens just o over the course of the Earth's existence. Climate change is directly caused by monkeys masturbating in the forest. It is our responsibility to kill all the masturbating monkeys so that the Earth does not blow up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Nice. Uh, all right. Isaac Alexander Ibanez says, looks like connective movement channel got closed down. I think that Kurt's message is that nobody needs a proxy anyway, even though he likes making videos talking about stuff. It's time to take the training wheels off. I liked that connective movement YouTube channel. Um, Lana Marie Anderson says, I definitely believe these and other nefarious groups utilize them, the teachers and teachings. How much they are aware of this, I am unsure. But if you leave room, leave much room for groundedness in the teaching and example, it's a perfect tool for manipulation and overall submissiveness of the populace, especially if they're getting a kickback. Uh, the Russian yeah. guy says... If I, am, if I am butthurt by what you say, it means you've been co-opted by a nefarious group. It does not mean I need to take responsibility for my own paradigms. Oh, I God. must sit oh, here no, and no, shake no, my no. fist. This is totally, <laughs> oh boy, this is totally in relation to me. Yeah, Dave, you're a CIA agent according to a certain nefarious parental source. You're not yeah. legitimate. I, 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 I've been, I, I I've been accused of I've been accused of being a CIA agent by persons we won't mention as they kind of put on their tinfoil hat and go I don't I didn't like what what he said so I'm butt hurt so that must mean Dave's a CIA agent yeah okay you're butt hurt so I'm a CIA agent okay cool that definitely makes a lot of sense very how very scientific of you thank you for letting me know I didn't know I was a CIA agent I should go to the CIA and demand my back pay because shit I'm not getting I'm not getting paid for being a CIA agent because I I didn't know I I was one, so if I am one, well, fuck, I'm, I'm owed money. Mm-hmm. For sure. All right. Um, Russian guy says, I respect your talents as I also want to, uh, Sorry, I was just checking to see if my phone had battery. I definitely believe these and other... Eh, sorry, I read that one. Uh, Russian guy. I respect your talents as I also want to reach more. And you are inspiring, but what does that have to do with discarding something really, really helpful for many people, including me? Jordan says, I don't learn from anyone other than someone I can train with in real life or directly. Because I like martial arts and I like martial arts only, and that is the right way. Hail I don't, I don't, I don't learn from anyone. Blah blah blah. Th this is okay. This is where that I can't learn from directly. Yeah, hold on. I, I need to, I need to shift the, um, the screen view right quick, just right quick to a certain, um, post I just made on DeviantArt not too long ago, and I think Rich knows where I'm going with this, um. Ignorance. Come on, Deviant Art Picture, load up. Load up ignorance thingy. Come on now. It's like stalling for a second. You, oh, okay, that was weird. Come on. There we are. Ignorance, um, if everybody can see the screen. Ignorance. To be ignorant does not mean you lack intelligence. It means that willfully of your own free choice, you are ignoring information that makes you feel extremely uncomfortable. Society teaches us all to do this, so we begin our lives in a state of ignore and ignorance. This doesn't mean you're an idiot, so there is no absolute reason or rule that states that you must become butthurt and rage against information that makes you feel uncomfortable. You could choose to open-mindedly explore new information. 
Of course, you can rage against new information if you want to. That is your right as a free will sovereign human being to do so. It is simply not required that you do so. This has been a public service message from Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy on Facebook, YouTube, DeviantArt, and TSU. <laughs> So yeah, I had to go there because I uploaded that one recently, and um, yeah, so I felt that that was appropriate to that one. It's like I'm gonna I'm gonna remain in ignorance, ignore ants, and ignore information that makes my butt hurt while claiming I'm enlightened and and not ignoring anything. Okay, cool, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> great, but feel free to continue. Right, I just so... I just need I just needed to go there. Nada Bobetta says, I'm interested. Can you tell me more? I'm being sincere. Um, and then the Russian guy says, well, you can always go to the workshops in reference to the fact that uh, Jordan says he doesn't learn from anyone that he can't learn from in real life or directly. And then Jordan says, I'm not discarding any of the useful tidbits people have picked up from any New Age stuff. I'm just saying that it comes with a lot of trouble and will have people taking steps back where they could be leaping forward. Any comments? Dave? Yes. Do any not comments? take the... Do not take the Panama Canal, leap backwards over Central America, or leap forwards over Central America, but do not do the logical and rational thing and go through the locks of experience. Just leap like a neurotic butthurt monkey, because that's obviously <laughs> the adult ra rational thing to do is leap without looking, and then when you land on a fucking field of porcupines, then, you know, just blame the porcupines, because it's obviously their fault that you were leaving. Or, and what's or wrong with stepping some back? Some other neurotic thing. Like, honestly, like, what's wrong with stepping back? Sometimes I have gone into old patterns and stuff like that, and it's been exactly what I needed, you know? Like, yeah, you need you needed to re to reflect. You gained a new perspective. Exactly, but, by going but, through an but, old but, situation. Yeah, but I'm saying you gained a new perspective, but you did not apply that new perspective to the old situation. Therefore, the universe synchronistically has to repeat that old situation. Um, or as Bashar likes to say, uh, I call this Bashar's echo, to where um, when you've made a decision, okay, I've changed. I know what I know now. I'm moving in this new, better direction. The first thing the universe does is make you face your shit. It's the echo. And if you respond to the echo the same way you had always responded and that mental malware kicks in and you get all butthurt and whatever, then you have not changed. So then you, ha you have the opportunity to look at, okay, I thought I changed, but I didn't. Why is that? And you can rationally look at the information and then take that and evolve and move forward. Or you can be all butthurt and take another two steps back and keep taking steps back until you're you're right off the cliff, so that's not somebody else's fault if if you know you decide to remain in ignore ends and like oh taking a step back is bad because obviously I shouldn't take the new stuff that I've learned and then apply it to old situations so that I can actually gain the value of that information. I should just be all lip service and say okay I've learned it. I don't need to look at that anymore because obviously a book on the shelf is the same thing as applying knowledge. I can let it sit there and collect dust, but you. Know, you know, applying it, well, that's bad. But collecting dust, well, that's enlightenment. Yeah, okay, whatever. You keep thinking that. Must be some good shit. Why aren't you sharing your weed with me? Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. Okay. Um, Mitchie Yasser, Muppet King Art Man, says, The best things and the worst things are both helpful. Helpfulness is not the measure. Jordan, it's very illuminating watching people bounce off you. And Jordan says, heck no. I don't know what he's saying heck no to, but heck no. <clears throat> Dylan Chang. Don't hi, hi, ho, hi, 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 Kermit the Frog here, quoting the Muppet King, saying uh, the best things and the worst things are both helpful. Helpfulness is not the measure, Jordan. It's very illuminating watching people bounce off you because, you know, it's not easy being green. <laughs> Muppet King. Okay. D Dylan Chang says, don't forget to include Eckhart Tolle and in this an ACIM. 
Um, all right. People seem to have a problem with ACIM, too. Cool. Tom Glode. Am I on your don't listen to list? LOL. <laughs> a, 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 C. I am a butthurt little bitch about ACIM. A, C. I am a butthurt little bitch. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jordan says, exactly. There's good stuff to learn in a fight as well as in making love. Not labeling anything as good or bad here, just noting the forces at play. The good and bad forces he's talking about. I'm not labeling anything as, as good or bad. I'm just saying, see this list of people? That's bad. Shun them now. But I'm not labeling anything as good or bad. But but mm -hmm. what's good is when, when you shun them and go into these other directions because that's good. But I'm not labeling the good that I'm labeling as good. And when I see these people are bad, I'm not labeling bad people as bad. No, no, not, not at all. These aren't the droids you're looking for, so you can move along now. <laughs> Cop out. All right. Um, very interesting to watch what people say and how they react. I don't have much time. For, I don't have time for this much longer, though. Unfortunately, little tongue sticking out. Uh, okay, then why did you bring it up? You know, you knew that people were going to want to talk about this stuff because you're like opening up a can of worms. The butt hurt is strong with this one. <laughs> I just Rich think it's would funny. Do, Rich would do it better if he could do Vader right now, but apparently his voice isn't in the mood. Uh huh. All right. So Amber Jazz Lavia says, "Very interesting thread." Russian guy says, "I agree, but sometimes the trouble comes from the mind of the receiver. Abraham is less with troubling side effects than anything else for me." Um. Brian Treadway says, huh, can't speak for Abraham, Bashar, and some of those other characters, but I don't get that similar vibe off of Teal. Her Tealites can give the impression that she is some cult leader, or, cult leader or something, lol. Anyways, I don't try to cling to anything anyone says as gospel anyways. I like to exercise that inner voice as much as possible. Yeah, that's that's another thing. It's like, you know, if you say something people like and then, you know, by no fault of your own you end up getting some groupies because that's just, you know, the way those people are. It's like, okay, other people are creeping on you, so that somehow makes you creepy. That that would be like some girl getting raped and telling the girl, well, shame on you for getting raped. It's your fault for putting in, in you in that situation. So, you know, you must be a creepy rapist by default of being raped by a creepy rapist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good fucking judgment there. Awesome. Gotta love the, the logic there. Yeah, makes, uh-huh, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's your fault you got raped, you because you got creepy rapist raping you, that means you're a creepy rapist yourself. Yeah, so, like, shame on you, naughty little girl. You should have, like, used the force and erected an anti-rape force field. Shame on you. I get it. <laughs> Cherish Hobbs. Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep, but are really vicious wolves. Hmm. Okay. Beware people who say things you don't like, or if you're not taking responsibility and totally lacking discernment and critical thinking, because your own ignorance and willful negligence is everyone else's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Just ask Monica that point. <laughs> he is so fucking good at that voice. <laughs> Okay, Muppet King. The main issue with a lot of New Age work is it's turning spirit into a means for ego's end. People masturbating with the possibilities of manifestation. Look what God can do for me. If I am nice and positive, the universe is just dying to give me shit. Okay. That's like just well, about the ego again. It's like, yeah, why, let me... why do people have such a problem with the fucking ego? Like, the ego is part of us. You can't live without it. Okay, let me let me give the 
New Agers and the anti-New Agers something to immediately agree on as I make them both butthurt against me. The universe is always manifesting based on frequency. What you like, what you don't like, it's a quantum mirror. It's not a, oh, well, if I like it and approve of it, then it counts as a manifestation. But if I don't, well, you know, it means I'm not manifesting. We live in a quantum hologram, for fuck's sakes, and that is quantum physics, science, dual slit experiment, superposition, scientifically researched frickin' fact that is not airy-fairy, new-agey, woo-woo. Go look up the experiments if you'd like. You, everything is always manifesting. Everything is a manifestation. Everything is a frequency alignment. Just because something makes you fucking butt hurt does not mean that it doesn't count as a manifestation. Yeah, you aligned with that. Something inside of you had a paradigm that was resonating with that and a Aligned with that, just like, you know, victims find victims, and victors find victors, and flies are attracted to dog shit, and vice versa. You know, it's not about manifestation, it's just about alignment, you know. Um, robins have sex with robins and not geese, you know. It's all about compatibility, it's all about alignment. So yes, you're manifesting every second of every day, and everything around you is a psychological projection. The good, the bad, the ugly, and everything, whether you like it or not, just because you don't approve of something doesn't mean it's not a manifestation. It totally is. It's you, by proxy of the quantum, you're calling you on your own shit, and then you're getting butthurt over yourself while psychologically projecting it on everyone else. Good job, both New Agers and Anti-New Agers. You're two sides of the same coin, the same pile of crap, and the flies are landing on you. Mm -hmm. All right. Scarlet Schrader? Agreed. There is something I can't put my finger on that turns me off about both of these people. I agree in my state of willful ignorance to be willfully ignorant. I can't put my finger on, primarily because I don't want to. Because it feels better to just say, agreed. I don't know why I agree on this headline reading. I agree. I'm acknowledging I can't put my finger on it, but I'm not acknowledging that I don't want to put my finger on it. Because God forbid if I ever put my finger on it, my illusions about reality might be crushed, and then I might have to think about myself and take responsibility, and then, oh, woe is me. What will you know, ever I do if I can't know, blame everybody else? You know what I think is the most fascinating part of all of this, Dave? Is the fact that I'm just seeing so much of so many people's money issues re reflected in all of their reasons and contentions for why people are evil and psyops. Like, like I I'm looking at a couple comments down from this Muppet King guy. I'm just going to read this. By the way, I just don't want anybody to get the wrong idea here. Because, you know, what I was saying about the quantum mirror, yes, everything we're reading right now and going over right now is a, a reflection to me, to Katerina, to Rich. It is the universe calling us on our own shit, too, and giving us an opportunity to reflect and shed more of our own hypocrisy, because I have been every one of these people. I me have too. said similar <laughs> things about so many... I, I'm not casting judgment when I when I outline the buttheartedness of this. As a matter of fact, I'm just we viewing them as a... As a as a mirror, I'm seeing this as a mirror pointing all fingers back at me and giving myself an opportunity to not be butthurt by my own hypocrisy. That's mm -hmm. how I view it. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, all right, Muppet King says, as opposed to integrating both our manifestations and our shadow and the karma that brings joy and misery, Hicks and all, ate all, makes selling God easy, like a used car that runs great if you kiss it. Mwah! Hicks even writes in the preface to his main book that he is in a two million dollar tour bucks that he manifested so that he and everyone who works on expensive things like this bus can be wealthy. That's not well, God. Well, That's trickle-down well, economics in a sheer sense of fuckery. Well, yes, of course, because you're only a good, honest person if you're giving everyone an example of how well you're dealing with misery. But if you're showing people that you can actually apply 
the physics of what you're teaching to actually bring about good things and you're, you're being the change you want to create, well, you're a naughty person because you're being that change and setting the example. You're not catering to people's ego and making it rain money down on everybody else and, and you're not, you're not you know, being a babysitter and you're not being an, Ob an Obama fucking socialist communist fuck and, and encouraging lethargy and apathy and just, just giving everybody everything and patting them on the back because you're not doing that and you're saying, hey, look what I did for me. You can do that too because you're encouraging people, taking responsibility and proving that taking responsibility can actually gain you things and you're being the change. Well, that makes you an evil, greedy, fuckery son of a bitch because Capitalist how pig. How dare you rain on other people's misery parade? How dare you tell them that they are empowered and they could do this too? How dare right. How you? How dare we, you? We like our misery, motherfucker. You're you're killing our buzzkill of misery, you bastard with your bus. Shove your bus up your ass, you evil prick. You, know you, you, you know, fuckery you, bitch. You, you, you know you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like you could take one of those cheesy ass Soviet propaganda posters from like the 1940s, and you could like put "Niet suffering is fine" under the regime of Stalin, because that's pretty much what people do to themselves, and they basically self sabotage and play the game of "If I'm successful, I'm evil," and it's like no, there's nothing wrong with being prosperous, you know, I mean, if you want to look at religious texts, there's plenty of religious texts out there that say go forth and prosper and, you know, multiply and do all of the good things and help other people where you can and do what you can that's good and, you know, go go do what, with that. Yeah, go do yeah. what Jesus did as long as you're only saying that and not meaning it, you're being all lip service, but the second you actually try to go do what Jesus did, you're a satanic occultist who is trying to mislead everybody into an Illuminati psyop and shame on you. To lining your pockets, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good lord, alright. I just, I, I'm saying good lord because it's like, holy crap, I used to believe this stuff. Like, like, oh my gosh. And I just remember how painful my life was when I believed all this stuff. And I was constantly shooting myself in the foot because I had these conflicting beliefs that wouldn't let me have money. That wouldn't let me do anything because I was believing this stuff. So therefore, I didn't want to contradict my own paradigms by having money. Good lord, no, because then everybody would think I'm an evil, evil person. Not to mention there's non-monetary abundance that people can confuse as abundance, too. Like, if any of these people were to be able to actually look around my home office here and see all of the quote-unquote expensive computer technology that I have, they'd be thinking, oh my god, he must have a lot of money and he must be full of himself and this and that. They don't realize that I got that $200 laptop for 20 bucks. I got that that $300, $500 entertainment center for 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever. They don't realize that I aligned with opportunity. Right, right. The, stu oh the, the stuff gosh, that Dave. I teach. So it's just true. like, oh, well, you, you, you have all this stuff, so you must be a rich fuck hiding your money, you know, sticking your nose up in the air and everybody, cause, because you have this and I don't. That must mean you're a fucking bitch no, or that's whatever, so you know. And it's just like people just make all these assumptions. That's so true. I Because remember I was telling you that same thing that, like, because I inherited that $30,000 jewelry collection of my grandmother's and you know I've been wearing her $10,000 like 24 diamond wedding ring f as my r wedding ring with Paul and stuff and like I've been feeling the kind of judgments coming from people just because I'm wearing fancy beautiful jewelry and stuff <laughs> and and like how they their perception changes of you because you have these things and they that's think another, oh, you're, you're a horrible person you're That's crazy. another really good point. You just brought up a really good point that I don't even think you realize you brought up. That's how females view themselves about beauty. Um a lot of them don't realize that they are viewing themselves as ugly because they fear their own beauty. Because, uh-oh, 
if I if I realize that I'm beautiful and I acknowledge that I'm beautiful, then people are going to call me arrogant and narcissistic and this Perfect. and that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take so much shit for being beautiful, so at least I'll be seen as polite and appropriate and proper and humble if people call me beautiful and I say, no, I'm not. I'm ugly. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's all just a mind fuck, you know? It really is. You know, no matter what, some people are going to think you're awesome and other people are just going to think you're the biggest, most evil, nasty piece of shit on the face of the earth, no matter what you say. Mm -hmm. So it's like, no matter what. So people are like, well, there must be something I can do to make everybody agree with me and like me. Oh, Heil Hitler, you know, Adolf thought the same thing. <laughs> you know, so there we go. Yep. All right. So Jessica Marie says, I see what you mean, Jordan. There are a lot of groupies out there. However, I still like to take in some of their material. They have a lot of interesting and empowering perspectives. Personally, I think the problem doesn't lie with them and their message. Rather, I feel like it lies with the people reacting to their message and following and leaning on every word they say. And because they have gained such a following, they have become what is seen as mainstream in the New Age community. I will never use my money to... What? Yay! Go, Jessica! It's your birthday. Go, Jessica. It's your birthday. Right on. Right on. Do you yes. remember... Do you remember that person, Happy, that you and I used to know? I mean, before she yeah. like, extracted herself from Facebook. She, she, she was, just disappeared. Right. She was one of those people that I feel like was really kind of doing a number on herself with all of the trying to squeeze herself into the positive mindset and shutting mm -hmm. her own emotions and stuff. Yeah. And so, like, I think that that is, like, probably the only really harmful uh, adaptation yeah. I've seen of Abraham Hicks's message. But yeah. the problem is more so with the people because that's just the patterns, the mental malware that they're dealing with and how they choose to filter the message through yeah. that malware. Yeah, I mean, I made a little graphic a little while back that says something to the effect of if you view negativity negatively, then that's negative. You're being negative. But if you view negativity as a positive opportunity for positive change, then that's positive. And I ended the statement with that's not ideology. That's math. Right. No kidding. But yeah, pl please continue. I just needed to give Jessica a big round of applause because she's totally spot on and completely correct, and I agree 100%. Uh-huh. Um, let's see. I will never use my money to buy anything they are selling, but if I am having an issue and experiencing trouble and dealing with it on my own, I often look towards people who share high vibration messages that empower me to make changes. I find these things for free on YouTube, Tumblr, and Facebook. There are a lot of people out there who have become spiritually obsessed, and because of that they have missed the point and will spout out things they have heard their teachers say without applying true understanding to the heart of the message. I have always felt that their messages point to look within and they offer products and freely offer techniques so th that can help people facilitate that. They're here to make money too so let's not forget that. A lot of people believe that to be spiritually you need all these things. Those are the kinds of people that become vulnerable and misled by their understanding, by their misunderstanding. Yeah, that's true. That they feel like they need to go out and buy everything, but, like, there's people who, you know, used to do that with Alex Jones, too. You know, they were afraid that if they didn't have the new thing that he was selling, that they were vulnerable and, and you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna, so. I'm gonna let everybody in on a big secret when it comes to obtaining materials, like, you know, whether you're talking about Abram Hicks, Bashar, or even documentaries people made or, or whatever um, and also as pertains to these people selling their materials mm -hmm. there is absolutely nothing that they have for sale that they haven't simultaneously already made available completely for free the difference between these two things is that 
the free stuff is scattered everywhere. So you have to not be lazy and not look for instant gratification and actually take the time to look up these things and collect these things yourself and to actually practice that trust in the universe to align yourself vibrationally so that search is easier on you. But you have to do the search yourself. As the old saying goes, God helps those who help themselves, right? But these people, they want such a quick fix and instant gratification that they automatically think, well, the only way to get these materials is to buy them because obviously that's the only way because they have them for sale. But because they haven't shifted and they're not willing to explore and research and they want everything handed to them and, and to not have to do any work at all, they don't realize that if they would stop judging the journey and the playfulness is bad, like little kids, they love to play and, and they, they, they are afraid that they might have to stop playing. Adults are reverse. Adults, adults love to get to the finish line before they even begin the journey and, and playing terrifies them. But if they play and explore and they'd stop judging the fucking journey as being bad and horrible, then they would find out that all these materials that they think they have to pay for are simultaneously available for free, just like she said. And, you know, even if you can't find them on YouTube and Tumblr and Facebook and wherever else, you know, there's other sites on the Internet that, that have the stuff. And, you know, you could, I mean, I'm not suggesting anybody break the law here, but there is BitTorrents. That is a valid option. Um, so I'm not, you know, like advocating internet piracy. As a matter of fact, for my views on the whole copyright thing, I just did a hangout on, on that yesterday called Copyright Decentralization and Open Bay. So if anybody wants those views, they can check out that video. I'm not going to go into it here. It's too long. But yeah, um, if you want the information about all sorts of stuff, get off your lazy butt you know, either metaphorically or otherwise, drop the instant gratification attitude and be open to experiencing the journey of discovery. And then you'll find out all that shit's out there for free. And it's been put out there for free by the same people who are selling it. Ta-da! For sure. For sure. Okay. Please continue. All right. Where did I leave off? I will read the last part of it then. I try not to think too much about oh, ideas yeah, that's and right. conspiracies. That's okay, I ahead. feel like that kind of thinking puts me in a fear mindset. So for me, I am less about the messenger and more about the message of love and compassion and of being fierce and strong when we need to be. Thank you. Thanks for sharing your perspective, Jordan Levine. You are awesome. And Jordan says, Kurt Hardesty once said something like this. If you want to see how amazing a teacher is, look at the kind of people that are following them. Have they attained any level of practical skill? Have they grown in amazing ways? If not, I'd be wary of the teacher. Then he uses that to like. I, I, yeah, I disagree with that totally because it's like if you live in a, in a world dominated by, by butthurt, insecure human beings that have grown up in this matrix control meme, then there's no such thing as a teacher who isn't going to be surrounded by dysfunctional people. So, right. you know. Look at Jesus. Look at Buddha. Look at. Yeah, oh Jesus, Jesus had, was surrounded by criminals and tax collectors and prostitutes and, and everything and else. So so much pressure on... So, you on know, by, like, that, by, that, by that alone, Jesus isn't reputable then. Don't, don't listen to Jesus. Don't listen to his messages of love and quantum physics and esoterics and quantum and sense and all that. Don't listen to him because he was surrounded by whores and tax collectors and thieves. So, yep, mm -hmm. better, better, better throw Jesus out the window. Throw the baby out with the bathwater because, you know, a teacher, their, their, the validity of their word is obviously based on the people who are surrounding them and gee you know Jesus was surrounded by what society would consider to be some of the scum of the earth so oh Jesus is invalid forget Jesus oh well sorry Jesus you are the weakest link goodbye mm -hmm. because our Lord and Master Jordan says so because he is God yeah no kidding All right. Muppet King. 
The new age does with spirit what the post-war economic boom did with credit. It's the same thing, only with a metaphysical sticker on it. Jessica Marie. But sometimes the reactions of the people isn't always the teacher's fault. I think that's, that how people react to other individuals have more to do with what is going on with them than the messenger or teacher sharing a message. Um, yeah, she hits I agree it on the that. head yet again. Yep, yeah. totally. She's like one of the only people that actually is making any sense in this whole feed. Oh, after, after after I start talking, there's some others that chime in with some really cool things other than Jessica, but we'll get to that. Dylan Chang. And Jordan, you got to bear in mind the amount of money being made in these New Age circles. It's big business. It's huge. People aren't going to let that go that easy. They spend hours on the internet studying this crap, if not span, years spanning and building their businesses. You think they're going to unplug that easy. Okay. Um, Tasha Maylee? Teal? No way, man. I saw her at a restaurant here. She was glowing. I'm really sad to read this. I felt nothing but love from her. I was lit up like a kid on Christmas. Freeman Kindle was there to witness. LOL. And then uh, Jordan says, my fave, I, my personal favorite teachers are as follows. My breath, my movement, the ground, trees, rocks, water, my nervous system, magnetic force and electric current, and various cosmic beings and spirits I've interacted with over the years. Because obviously that statement doesn't sound new agey at all. Cough, right. cough. <clears throat> yeah. Right. I'm not being new agey when I talk about the trees and the energy and the wooey wooey and how I'm ignoring everything. Everything I'm ignoring everything around me that makes me butt hurt and focusing on my wooey wooey rocky energy poopy doopy because I don't want to experience the force of the butt hurt. But you know me saying this is not new agey at all. Uh, but those those terrible new agers shun them. But no, that statement wasn't new agey at all. I'm not in any way, shape, or form being a hypocrite. No, 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 no. Dealing with the new age paradigm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Christian Taylor Williams. How is Abraham a puppet? I listen to them every day since I was 15. I owe them for turning around a lost suicidal teenage boy. Um, Russian guy. That is a nice indicator, but it can be misleading. Sometimes people just make what they want of the teachings. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Everybody's different. When you are using a fork, you make what you want of the fork. So just because someone else is eating noodles with that fork doesn't mean that the only right way to righteousness is fork and noodles. You can eat, like, you know, corned beef hash and eggs with it or, or whatever because forks are to eat food. It's not that, oh, you can only eat this one food with this fork, and if you go any other way, then you are being possessed by a dark entity and being misled by corrupt Illuminati businessmen who want to co-opt you and da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to be an individual, because that's not, that's not authentic. That's kind of how I'm reading that. You, you know, I also think it's really interesting that people... Ego. I think it's really interesting that people think that Abraham Hicks is so against the dark. Like, they tell you that you can't get to there from there. You know, like, they say that you have to move up the vibrational ladder. Like, they don't tell you that you have to jump into joy. Like, yeah, they exactly. say that, you know, they encourage you to get angry if you are despairing. You know, like... That's, what, that's, that's why she calls it going on a rampage. That word exactly. is not used blindly or, or arbitrarily. She's using it in a funny way, but it's like... Getting to the light by get, getting to the light by facing the dark, not by shunning the dark, not by going into wooey wooey illusional delusional happy land. But that's I really something that I don't understand. Is that 
all of these people are assuming, and and also Teal Swan, she's so much about, like, yeah. facing the darkness. Yeah, people need to watch her video, Spirituality 2.0. She's, like, totally going into into darky dark land, so, you know, she totally like, covers that. This, how is this a psyop, you know? Like, none of these people are telling you to shun, to, shun the dark. Well, it's it's it, 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 it's a, it's a sigh up because my butts hurt. If you don't go with what the sheep are saying, four legs good, two legs bad. You're a shill, and I don't want to deal with shills, even though they've totally undermined every last sanctity of everything that's good. Don't listen to anybody who calls everything on their shit. Don't do. You know, it. it's like it's like there's two groups of sheep. It's like. We're the sheep that aren't sheep. Those other sheep over there, now they're sheep, don't follow them, but we're the flock of sheep that aren't sheep. We're the enlightened, awakened sheep that aren't actually sheep. But those sheep over there, those sheep are sheep. It's like, what? No it's, like you said on, it's like you said on Cosmic Voice Radio, um, you know, some of these people need an awakening from their awakening. Because right. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 get a, they get a few pieces of, of knowledge, and they think that just because they have a book that's on the shelf that they're not using, this makes them almighty god of the universe compared to all these lowly sheeple that are still asleep, when really it's like the sheeple that are still asleep, they're still using the, 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 um, the, uh, the head-up-the-ass web browser to, to view the content of reality through, and then when these people, quote-unquote, awaken, they're viewing their awakening data, but they're still using the head-up-the-ass browser version 2.0 instead of 1.0, so they still have their heads up their ass, in fact, in a lot of ways that are worse than the sheep, because at least the, the quote-unquote sheep don't know any better, but sheep version 2.0 are worse because they actually do know better, but they're they're too butt hurt to face it, so it's like, oh, I've got this data. It'd, it'd be like saying, I've got more MP3s than you, so that means you're a stupid, inferior sheep that's been harvested by dark energy, but I've got these MP, all these MP3s, so I'm enlightened and if you don't do it my way, then fuck you, because cause if your way was any good, you'd have these MP3s too, but you don't, so you're stupid. And it's like, what? It's neurotic, it really is. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Continue. Um... Mm hmm Then Jordan says, Tasha, and she was the one that was saying that Teal made her light up like a Christmas tree. Um, he says, Tasha, just because someone looks good, talks good, smells good, and makes people feel nice does not mean that they are inherently quote-unquote good. Just like a McDonald's hamburger can smell good, look good, taste good to so many, does not make it a healthy option. New Age stuff is spiritual junk food. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's actually that, that's actually more like saying... Because the McDonald's hamburger is junk, all hamburgers that exist are junk. You have to stay away from the hamburger and go with the chicken filet. Because all hamburgers are evil, co-opting, misleading junk. There's no such thing as a hamburger that can't be a McDonald's hamburger. McDonald's hamburgers are the only real reality because I say so and I'm God, Heil Hitler, so you you shut up or, or you're just a part of the PSYOP. Yeah, yeah. You better agree with me or you're a poopy head. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm not copping out or being a hypocrite at all, so you if you say too, too much that I disagree with, I'm just going to delete this thread like a little bitch. Michael Dovin Gray, Teddy Bear Parade as predicted, LOL. The Elite Laugheth. Not a Bobeta. That's a cool name. Not a Bobeta. Oh, and here he is, pussyfooting out. And time. No more commenting for me. No one ask me anything else, please. I'm in self rejection. Go away. Stop talking. I'm running away from hey, my Hey, hey, I'm going to get there. Ah! I'm going to get there. Give me a second. Oh, I know. I'm just adding my two cents worth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nada Boveda says, spot on Jordan. Thank you. Jordan says, Christian, that's an example of someone mining for gold in a pile of rubble. 
like someone else mentioned, I said it, I was not saying people cannot take away something useful from any of the stuff that's put out, just saying that it will lead people where they want if they're going for self-actualization, or it will not lead people to where they want if they're going for self-actualization. Just like fast food may keep, keep someone alive for some time, while there is definitely more life-giving food options out there. Yeah, and the and the and the Jordans of the gold rush abandon their treasure in the pile without even realizing it, and then the rich days in Katarina's came along later and went, "Oh, look at all this gold they didn't see because they were so wrapped up in their own narcissism and self-justification." Oh, looky, looky. Mm -hmm. All right, Angelica. Kaleda Lundberg says, the only reason we would be fearful of being manipulated by others, in my opinion, in the first place, is if we do not trust our own judgment and intuition. Thus, to me personally, it feels better to cultivate self-confidence and develop self-trust than to focus on potential shadows of so-called spiritual teachers. Everyone is a teacher anyways, regardless of their current average current vibration. Bingo. You, Bingo. You, I mean, just, if you, if you exist... You're, you're a teacher and a student because you are not only the one doing the observing, you are also the observable. And we teach less by what we say and more by how we act and how we conduct ourselves. That's how you be the change. Mm -hmm. And that we're, be, we're, we're, being, we're being the change right here because most people would look at this and I think a lot of people would have the same idea we had. Like, wow. Wouldn't it be cool if, if you know, we went on a Google Hangout and totally called bullshit on this, but, you know, I'm, I'm afraid of being up on the targeting firing range, so I'm not going to do that. Somebody else who's more brave can go ahead and make that Google Hangout. Okay, cool, here we are. But I'm sure we're not the only ones that had the idea that was reading this, but we are the only ones that I know of that went ahead and... You know, we're willing to to not judge all this as something we need to shun and stay away from, and we dove right into the fire here, not blindly, not hatefully, not stupidly, but just we're not judging the fire. Okay, it's fire. If you handle it carefully, it's it's useful. It can create electricity, cook food, all kinds of stuff. But of course, if you just stick your hands in the in the bonfire and hold them there, and and you wash your hands in freaking kerosene before doing it, of course you're going to have the consequences you're going to have. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Uh, Ellen Barkin says, whatever you got, it depends a lot on whether you just skim it or work with it. Perspective. Uh, and Jordan says, and time. No more commenting for me. No one ask me anything else, please. Smile. If you'd like to connect, private message with me sometime. The butter is strong with this one. Yeah. Let the butthurt flow through you. <laughs> if you Melissa, only knew the power of the butthurt. Melissa Kucharski. Wayne Dyer? Uh, Luke Pryor. I think all these teachers have a lot of information to offer, but you just take bits and a bit and pieces of them and make your life positive as possible. I do believe your inner self will guide you and know everything you need to know. I have listened and read many books on this subject. Louise Hay was my first. I agree with Jordan, listen to your inner guide. It's hard with all the information out there, but they are all telling you the same thing. Jordan, I have enjoyed your post, thank you. Yeah, yes, basically you can, all these it, spiritual teachers are telling you, look within. Some yeah, you can, you, can, you can take all these, you know, all these bits and pieces and deal with them positively or you can just look at only a few bits and pieces and go those little bits and pieces made me butthurt so I'm not going to explore any of the other data because those little bits and pieces that I don't like must represent the totality so I'm going to put myself in a state of ignore ants and just be a little butthurt ignoring little shunner yeah <laughs> That's what a lot of people do. I'm not saying that that's what this person was suggesting. I'm just saying that that's, that's how a lot of people interpret it. Mm -hmm. Dylan Chang. What's really interesting is Jessica Schaub, which I know you guys had a conflict with, actually exposed Teal Swan in a huge write-up on her blog with links and videos and everything long back. I urge everyone here to check out 
to just check it out. Uh, just Google teal swan fraud or deception. Huh. Did you ever look up anything about teal swan being a fraud, Dave? Because the thought never even crossed my mind because I don't really watch her videos. So. Well, when anybody gets popular enough, two camps start to form, pro and against. Yeah, and that's, that's just kind of a, a, nat a natural progression with it. Um, you know, even though I'm not exactly the biggest thing since sliced bread on YouTube or anything like that, although I did have like 4 million views until the YouTube Nazis shut down my channel and the censorship's short away and now I'm rebuilding, but, you know, it's like, you know, even then, like 4 million views is nothing. It's like there are so many channels that have like hundreds of millions of views, it's crazy, but even I, I started getting, you know, that little bit of back and forth of either, oh, Dave's so great, or oh, Dave is scum of the earth and evil and a psyop and ignore him and he's this and da 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 da. And you're going to get that no, no matter what. You're going to get, you know, you're going to get your groupies, you're going to get your haters, and then you're going to get those people in between that actually really do understand your message and they do neither of those things. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's going to happen. It's totally going to happen. It's it's happened with Bashar. It's happened with Teal. It's happened with Abraham. It's happened with everybody. These are all just perspectives. It's just a Twilight versus Harry Potter sort of dick-wagging contest. And that's, you know, it's it's same <laughs> shit, d d different day. It's all it is, man. So, of course yeah. that's happening with Teal. That, 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 that has happened with me. That will happen with you if it hasn't already. It's just the way it goes. Uh-huh. All right. Tasha Maley. Jordan Levine. I get that. But she is a human being, and she was playing with my baby from across the restaurant. As I, as I could feel him connected to her as well. I mean, I guess you see in others what, I, what you see I yourself. This post just made me sad. I like her. No, that was a that was a that, that, that was a typo. She meant to say, "I guess you see in others what you see in yourself." In other words, she's saying he's psychologically projecting. I agree with that. Yeah, this post made just made me sad. I like her and have learned many amazing tools in emotionally parenting my kids, especially when I really needed it. <sighs> yeah. I think this post just kind of made me sad, too, because it was just like, hmm, you know, just seeing people dealing with all of these paradigms and stuff, it's like, it's like, it made me sad because mm -hmm. I remember how much struggle all of this back and forth. And also because, you know, yeah. there's, a, there's a small part of you that still kind of puts Leah and anyone directly involved with her on a little bit of a pedestal. So it's kind of like, it's more sad that he's putting this out than it would have been if someone you had never heard of put it out. If someone you had never right, heard exactly, of put it out. Right, exactly, because then I it's used ju to have it's them just on like, such a pedestal. Yeah. Because I used to respect them quite a bit, and now I just see how human they are, like myself. You know, which is good. But it's like a bittersweet kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Andrew Morrissey. Let's focus on what unites us. Love it, Andrew. Optimistic. I'm going to give you a like. Christian Taylor Williams. I wasn't really mining for gold. I stumbled upon them and every ounce of my being awakened. They steered me on the spiritual path I am on now and led me to people like you and Leia and all these magnificent teach teachers and kindred spirits. I agree. It's all in what you make of it. Even Abraham says you should follow what resonates with you. <sighs> Tasha Mailey says, also Bashar has changed my suicidal, non-sleeping life around. Many of his teachings are are there, are, are the reason I am alive and an amazing mother. Love you, Jordan, and everyone on this post. Just remember to take everything we are saying back to self. After all, it's all just a reflection. 
we deeply are just pure love. I like to focus on that. All having this beautiful, shitty human experience. Namaste, you beautiful souls. Uh, Lisa Byrne. Thank you. Been saying this forever. Funny. Um, Jordan Levine. John Wayne Gacy, a so the sociopathic killer, was a children's clown. He's comparing Teal Swan and Abraham Hicks to John Wayne Gacy, guys. Well, remember, individuality. <laughs> hey, 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 look, individuality and being your yourself is the highest crime ever. It's the offense against the ego. You are not being who others are saying you need to be. You're being authentically yourself, you horrible person, to the electric chair with you. Mm -hmm. You ego murderer, you paradigm destroyer, you illusion shatterer, you're a bitch. Shame on you, criminal. What if somebody de tries to DMCA this video because they're all mad? Oh, whatever. I would laugh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Scott says, "Well, they they would they would fail just like William Black did because it's all us talking and our voices and our perspective and you can't DMCA fucking freedom of speech and opinions. They have their opinions, we have ours. It's just all discussion of opinion. There's nothing to DMCA. And William Black found that out the hard way." <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott Hansford says, Jordan, dude, sometimes I think to myself that you think that you are the world's greatest teacher. You always put other teachers down. Is it because you are not famous like they are? Is it jealousy? Just curious, because you post a bunch of teachings which are great, but don't hate on other teachers who have a different style. There are many teachers out in the world. Yes, yeah, some of them suck, but a lot of them have a lot of beneficial teachings. I personally don't really resonate with the law of attraction. Some say it has worked for them, but for me, I personally resonate with Taoist, Buddhist, Hindu, Native American, Jainism, Sikhism teachings. Some of the New Age teachers just teach the ancient wisdom. People like Muji, Eckhart Tolle, Gangaji, Byron Katie, Marion Williamson, etc. You don't have to resonate with all different styles of teachings. Just use what suits you. But don't criticize others until you have walked a mile in their moccasins. I agree. Yeah, I, I, to I totally agree with the exception of one small thing. That one, one small thing simply being that law of attraction was just a, a buzzword that describes everything he already said he's into. People get mm -hmm. too hung up on the language. Whether you want to call it quantum entanglement, law of attraction, you know, the Tao, the Tao, the, the Holy Spirit, the and oh, nature, whatever. whatever. It's all buzzwords. People get so hung up hung on up language. Hung up on fucking words, yeah. And they're, they're, all, they're all talking, you know, about all the same thing. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so Ryan says, interesting post. Ryan Conscious, he's a friend of mine. I know. Uh, Cor Courtney Baxter, I think Jordan is just looking out for people, Scott. Uh, Angel says, LOL, Ryan, what's up? Sebastian Pleiadian, I am that I am. The truth is irrelevant. There are as many truths as perspectives. The only truth is the one that's, which serves you right here, right now, for your highest upliftment. If it is watching and listening to other spiritual teachers, such as Abraham, Teal, Bashar, uh, Adronis, Tolly, etc., then for this now, it is the perfect for you. It is perfect for you. But this now is ever-changing, ever-shifting, in constant movement, and there's no higher truth than your own truth. If you shift from listening, to, from, listening uh, from the outside to listening within, that is your truth for this now, and it is perfect. We are all on our unique path. All lives are spiritual. All experiences are spiritual. Not only the preconception or judgments of what we believe to be spiritual. It is, it's not for us to judge any experience, but to live life 
And as Bashar says, be thankful for the interaction and expansion birthed from that interaction. We are all students. We are all teachers. We all hold a piece of the puzzle. And the puzzle isn't complete without everyone. I 100% agree with Jordan Levine on the fact that the greatest teachers lie within. Teacher slash S. Um, we are here to uncover our own truth and shine and reflect each other. By all means, it's just love. That's the north of our compasses. And that's where we all meet to party. Namaste, and thank you for the expansion. Love these kinds of threads. Yeah, totally. I yeah. I can I can, I completely agree with that. Yeah. It's, it's and you know it goes back to what I was saying when I quoted Bashar about you know if you take your new knowledge and and go back and do the same experience but then you you know make make the same old same old mistake instead of going by the new knowledge then you haven't changed as much as you thought you have and you still got some work to do on it whereas if you just if you don't have that experience and just like oh I have this book on the shelf so I'm just going to assume that I've changed and and that is proof in and of itself that I'm changed then you know you're gonna end up like you know holier than thou sort of attitude mm -hmm. for sure Siriku, if your point is that you cannot become self-actualized by following teachers, you are right, and that's pretty obvious in my opinion. There are also there is also value in using a crutch. For example, if your leg is broken and you can choose to use a crutch to, uh, and you can use a, a crutch to help you heal, if or you can heal without one, but once your healing has come to a point where you can walk, the crutch slows you down and can stop the process. When your focus is on conspiracy, and t it tells me a lot, but I agree that following teachers can sometimes slow your process down. I believe, I myself don't believe that you can take steps backwards. You are always moving in cycles with your evolution. In my opinion, there is a better way to bring your point across, but that's none of my business. Each on its own. Each on its own, yeah. Yeah, I I total I totally agree. It's just kinda like um another example, people look around them during the daytime and you know, they're looking around and they think that they're seeing daylight. They're looking around like, oh, it's light. It's like, well, actually, no, it's not. It's a mm -hmm. mixture of light and dark that is compatible with your eyes. If there was nothing but light, not only would your would your eyes burn out and you'd be blind, but a nuclear detonation is nothing but light. So I don't even think pure light would be survivable. And, mm -hmm. of course, if you're in total darkness, then not only are you blind, but total darkness being a, a lack of light is also a lack of heat and you'd like instantly turn into a popsicle and be dead and so that's not good either um, so it's that that light dark mixture that everybody looks around and says oh this is light this is daylight so you know it's it's exactly that sort of thing to where teachers are all well and great when you use their teachings as tools but you know when you put them on a pedestal and worship them it, it becomes a problem yeah, no kidding. All right, Siri Ku says, meaning that spiritual teachings are a crutch, wink. Um, Courtney Baxter says, some teachers are frauds, and that's just a fact we need to accept, uh, That, and we should be careful of what teachers we follow. Yeah. Uh, Siri Ku, what is wrong about frauds? Are you so afraid that there isn't enough trust in you to know what is best for you? By the way, frauds I... I have a question. Why follow anybody? Why not just use tools as tools? If following is yeah, worshiping, right? why worship the hammer? Why worship the screwdriver? Why worship the wrench? Why not just use it as a tool? Then it negates mm -hmm. following. As I like to say, believe nothing, disbelieve nothing, and question everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can use whatever it is that you need. Like, it's not... Just because I've learned from a ton of different teachers doesn't mean that I follow any of them. You know? Like, just because sometimes 
I'm in the mood to listen to Byron Katie, and sometimes I'm in the mood to listen to Gaga G, and sometimes I'm in the mood to listen to Gabby Bernstein or Marie Forleo or Jesus or Buddha or like fucking whatever. So it doesn't mean that I'm followers or disciples of them, you know? That's such an antiquated term. Antiquated term. It's it's dated. I just combined words, sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, Siri Ku also says, what is wrong about frauds? Um, didn't I already say that? What is so wrong about frauds? Are you so afraid that there isn't enough trust in you to know what is best for you? I think frauds can bring us closer to knowing and trusting who we are and what we know is true. A fraud can only hurt you if you have no trust in yourself and blindly believe everything. That's never good. And I think most people have some sort of awareness of that. Also, if you start listening to a false teacher, what is the worst that thing that could happen? It brings you to false information, but then you learn to trust yourself again. Something you might have you might have not tried to do tried to do before. Yeah. I've had that experience myself. She just accepted my friend request on Facebook. Yay. Uh, and Ryan Conscious says. Leo was one of the biggest starseed YouTubers I knew when I woke up. Her and others got me making videos. I think I have helped many people with the work I have done. Uh, Kevin Pirelli says, I disagree. Yet I would say that they are only human like the rest of us with stuff that can get in the way of that pure, beautiful light. Yeah. I agree. Ryan Conscious. I think we should not be in the place of judgment. I have just come... I have just came from there. It is not healthy nor productive for the new 2015 energy. My downloads have been about being authentic to oneself. Jordan says, I am not against any one person or teacher, and I haven't, and do not put people down, quote unquote. I I'm not just... against. I'm not. I'm not against any one person or teacher. I'm against a whole slew of them. I'm not putting anyone down. I'm just going for outright slander. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of solipsism and mental slavery. That's all. I'm not putting anyone down by my putting down of them or anything, and I'm not putting down just one teacher. I'm putting down a whole slew of them. Hey, why do you just one? It's not very efficient. Let's get them all. That's so funny because Siri calls them on it. She's like, yet you are naming names? Question mark. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, he's not putting people down, yet he's flat out saying these people even though he has no information backing it up, publicly is saying that these other teachers are psyops. Okay, cool. <sighs> All right, Morgan I, I think, Jacobs. I think it also kind of sounds like, hey, these teachers are frauds, so um, they're trying to make you blindly follow them. So don't follow them. Instead, blindly follow me, because I'm giving you no evidence whatsoever. I'm just saying, take me at my word that these guys are trying to mind control you and get you to follow them. So blindly follow me, not them, because they're a psyop. Oh, but, the uh, But I'm not. Uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> oh God. All right, Morgan Jacobs. Siri, what happens when you follow a fraud? Look at Jim Jones' cult documentary on YouTube. I think Teal likes him, by the way. And if you bother to read the transcript from Jessica's page, you will see how two shamans and a psychic told Cameron that Teal is consciously courting people. I 
agree. I don't like how Jessica presented the interview with Cameron much, but there's very interesting info there. Good luck to you. Heart. You know what's you know what's funny? Um, you know how they were talking about how Jordan like you know called out Teal. Um, well, it, it's it'll be interesting to see how he handles being called out because isn't that what we're doing? Um, we're just kind of talking about the inconsistency, yeah. Exactly, but I'm saying from his perspective, he was just talking about the inconsistencies when he went on Teal Scott's blog or Teal Swan, whatever you want to call her, and, well, you know, ta talked about what he felt was the inconsistency. So we're basically doing the same thing. No, well, this that's is what his, his Morgan person. Jacobs said. No. Well, the my point is, is that Presuming that that event happened, I'm just being simplified. That presuming that that you know Jordan went to Teal's blog as stated and said, "Hey, this is what I what I don't agree with on here," and he thinks you know that he was you know feeling righteous in doing that. I'm saying mm -hmm. on a basic level, aren't we doing the same thing? He's mm -hmm. making a post. It's not a blog, but it's a post on a social network, and we're going ahead and then doing this presentation and outlining in detail how we feel it's basically, you know, a house of mirrors. So I'm just curious if he if he sees this and he watches this, you know, how is he going to feel when he gets a taste of you know, his own medicine in that regard. Is his next post going to be how horrible and evil Katerina Edwards, Roy, and Dave Kelso and Rich Hamilton are? Or, you know, <laughs> what's this going to turn into? It should be interesting. Are we going to get demonized next for having the audacity to have an opinion? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. We're, 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 we're evil frauds because we disagree with Jordan. Watch, watch. Uh, that's his, I, that's I, his, I, that's his I, next I, post. I really don't care if there's anything Jordan really has to don't say care about either. me. He doesn't. I know. Even, I'm saying he doesn't even know me, and for him to say anything would be like trying to judge the sky for being blue. It's like really, man. You don't even well, know. Well. Well, isn't well, he that what he is doing? doesn't know either of us. Like he, he vaguely knows me. I bought a necklace from him one time. Like I've pretty much been on the periphery of his. Reality, like it doesn't matter. Yeah, but I mean, I, I just personally think that it it'll be interesting to see whether or not he does us the service of advertising us and increasing people's visibility and awareness of us by posting some sort of oh they're evil because they said poo poo and I didn't agree so Can I stay away from Dave yet? and Katarina. I was just saying, I was curious, I'm just, it'll be interesting I know, to are see. you going to go throw this link at him? Like, are you going to go stoke the fire? I'm curious. No, I'm just stating an opinion of curiosity. All right, all. I think he is a new dad, and he probably is just going to be running the other way from Facebook for a couple of days. That's my <laughs> opinion. Oh, I'm talking about the long term. I mean, he could post something a month from now, you know, half Whatever. a year from now. I'm just voicing a curiosity, that's all. I wasn't trying to turn it into a big, long thing. I was just voicing a curiosity, just stating I'm, it'll be interesting to see what happens, that's all. That's my I only would statement. prefer to not be spit-roasted for, you know... Well, yeah, obviously. That would be my preference. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a life to live. I have Paul, <laughs> you know, is kind of in the other room waiting for me to come to bed, yet it's like 10.30 <laughs> at night, and I am still on this conversation talking about all this stuff. Uh-huh. Of your I'm own free like choice. I'm only like 60% done. Yeah, but we don't we don't get to get to talk that much these days. So that's why you're here. You're you're fiending for your day fix. Oh wait a minute, I can't say that because that that means then you're my follower and I'm mind controlling you. Ah, right. <laughs> okay. So um, Jordan says, Scott, if you're a big fan of the things I say, please do note that everything I ever post on Facebook is sourced from the same place within myself. I'm not fractured. I'm just practiced in the ability to witness forces of the universe at work. No biggie. 
I don't have anything against anyone, and people can listen to whoever they want and do whatever they want. But when people get over the stimulation and light bubble mentality and begin to suffer because they feel empty and feel something is off with what they've been into listening to, then people like me will be there to teach them how to take the next step. That's it. Well, Scott, I'm really glad that if you like what I say, but I just thought I'd let you know. I'm not human. I'm a robot. All of this emotional contrast and spectrum that you humans feel does not compute with me. I am a transcended robot. I have a dual-core processor in my rectum and another one shoved in my penis. I am a logical, calculable robot who has no fractures, no contrast, no, no humanness whatsoever. I am transcended to human malware software, and I am operating at 110% quantum efficiency. I was put here by the Pleiadians to monitor the state of humanity. My physical body is actually a projection from a satellite that is in orbit. That satellite is me. I am a robot. <laughs> it's like All what? your base are belong to us. All your base, base, base are belong to us. All your base, base, base are belong to us. Good lord. <laughs> Oh, <coughs> input! Need more input, Stephanie! Ooh, Stephanie, I like the two inputs below your neck. Ooh, very nice input! Squeezable like oranges! Ooh! Oh, need more input from Stephanie! I am Johnny Five! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Forward sensor data shields offline. Your resistance well, is futile. All your base are belong to us. Okay. Well, the funny thing that he's saying here is that, you know, when they begin to suffer because they feel empty and feel something is off with what they've been into listening to, then people like me will be there to teach them how to take the next step. Um, okay. I just, I think it's interesting that... Obama said that, geez. by the way. Obama literally said, no, 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 I, I, I was not born in a manger. I actually came from Krypton, and I'm here to save humanity. Remember that speech? No. No, I'll have to find that on YouTube. He actually said that. When I saw that, I was like, oh, my God, this guy is lame. All right, well, my point, though, is that... What he's saying is that, like, it has to, like, I think he's just saying that that's exactly what, what he went through, was that people, like, he went through a situation where he was feeling like what people were saying was off, and then he needed to take the next step. But that's not always what happens with people, you know? But now he is a transcended Pleiadian robot parked in orbit above our planet to witness the evolution of humanity. All your base are belong to us. I have no idea. Anyways, um, Siri Ku says, I have seen the interviews. She also says that people who are raped lure the rapers onto them. I understand what you are saying, though. All a matter of perspective. Um, Morgan Jacob says, that's what Teal, Jacob... Teal, Teal, Teal Scott isn't talking about fault or blame, though. It's it's more like, if I had to paraphrase what Teal is, was saying, it's more like, if someone believes that sticking their hand in fire is the only real reality, or the only real reality is to, to be in an environment where fires could just start, and they reject the idea of, oh there's these other things over here that could be explored, then there are certain consequences to whatever environment that you're in. It's not like a blame, like, oh, well, they aligned it to themselves, so it's their fault. They're stupid. It's just more like the nature of one's environment is what the nature of it is, and there's a certain physics at work and consequences. It's not like, oh, well, the weather's your fault. If you get struck by lightning, it just means you're stupid. That's not what Teal's saying, but I can understand how people might take it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, um, 
I don't know what interviews that they're talking about. I haven't ever seen them. I, I haven't watched enough Teal episodes to, like, even care. Because, like, she's, like, kind of on the periphery of my attention. Like, I think I've only really seen, like, two or three. I haven't, I, have, I haven't watched most of her stuff. It's like, watching her videos are on my to-do list. I've seen a few. I've seen some interviews. I've seen some things. I've watched a little. Um, but, you know, I'm not, like, hardcore into her stuff. But I do like what I've seen so far. Which just makes this all the more funny. Because it's not like you or I are even, like, hardcore, like teal fans like we're not groupies like making this google hangout like trying to defend abraham hicks or defend teal like we're not doing it in that energy which is the funniest thing because it's like you would expect that somebody would be defending this stuff if they were like diehard fans yeah i mean but we're just like sorting the information yeah whether you're talking about teal or bashar abram hicks or whatever that sort of stuff usually, you know, comes to me just kind of synchronistically and within its appropriateness, so I mm-hmm. don't usually have to, like, you know, go focus on things. Or, like, sometimes I'll just feel suddenly synchronistically inspired to do a search for a particular name or whatever, and then all of a sudden there will just so happen to be just the right video from that person that, you know, I needed to hear in that moment, but I'm not, like, totally, like, oh, my God, I'm a groupie, and i got to listen to them 24-7. No, it's nothing like that. Mm-hmm. All right. Um... Morgan Jacobs. That's what Jessica said, not Cameron. Tried to ignore Jessica a bit, LOL. Um, Siri Ku says, smile. Um, Jordan Levine says, yes, I'm naming names because there are people suffering or mentally enslaved directly because of the forces directing the actions of certain individuals. I'm not against the people as souls. I'm just noting that there are manipulative forces at work within the work of certain individuals. Malia Beckland says, don't shoot the messengers. If you want to fight mental slavery, then fight what's hurting us, not what's trying to help. Their messages are positive and helpful for people going through shitty situations to guide through to the other side of pain. It's just the same thing as therapy, but without big pharma. Without some of the teachings, I may have offed myself a long time ago dealing with the crud in the default world. The struggle is real. Any welcome advice to keep me going every day is appreciated. And Jordan yeah. cops out and says, back to life, LOL. Yeah, I mean, I will say that, yeah, there is the risk that, you know, if a teaching doesn't resonate with someone and they're they're butthurt enough that yeah you know they could go hurt themselves or commit suicide or whatever but on the same token if they're gonna if they're gonna be triggered by that to do that then they were looking for an excuse anyway and if it wasn't gonna be teal or bashar or somebody else they would have found some excuse to go win a darwin award somewhere whereas on the same token i've there's no shortage of stories that i've heard about all these people and how you know without that influence in their life they really would have committed suicide or something so Mm -hmm. I mean you know there's there's people that you know were going down that sort of path that you know I've helped and they're alive because of me today and you know sometimes you even deem yourself as one of those I'm not saying that egoically I'm saying that in contrast that there are people that also think that the things I say and who I am are dangerous and I need to be shut up and locked away for like the good of humanity so I'm not my words aren't hurting anybody and the irony is is it's usually people who are all about freedom and freedom of speech and human rights that say that stuff to me sounds funny. Yeah, no but you kidding. get the idea. No kidding. <sighs> so after he says back to life, Genevieve Bush says, the thing with New Age is that they want you to ignore the negative. That's slave thinking. Be in the now. Go with the flow. All that is great and dandy until you realize that you're a slave made to pay task made to pay taxes forced with violence 
they also teach that what you think you shall become or something yes that's where it starts but one needs to have thoughts emotions and actions aligned want to get pissed off from hearing the truth go watch mark paseo videos Okay. Well, depending on the context, I both agree and disagree. I agree that the psyop of the buzzword and New Age movement that creates the New Age, anti-New Age dichotomy, which has people either rejecting information in ignorance or following a master or guru instead of using the information as a tool, I think that, you know, that whole thing is a part of the enslavement matrix. But too often, because we always put labels on things and judge things and judge people and shove people in boxes, we look at the idea that, okay, the New Age movement as it was designed by the elites as a dichotomy is a slavery thing. So therefore, all information that there within must also be bad and all people within must be dangerous and whatever. It's like on a comment further further down that we'll get to that to where I stated, if I wanted to keep information from humanity, here's what I would do. I would give it give it to someone everybody thinks is a fool and let them share it with everybody. So it, then it wouldn't matter if people followed the fool or rejected the fool. If they're following the fool, they're following the fool. They're not really understanding the information. And if they're rejecting the fool, they're rejecting the fool and the information. So either way, it's, it's hidden in plain sight. And that's what the elites do, and people mm. fall for the trap whether they're in the New Age movement or not. Because even if they're like, oh, those New Agers shun the dark, so, you know, let's not go by them. Well, they're doing the same thing. They're being a New Ager by being anti-New Age because then they're shunning the dark and moving into the so-called positive. We're going to shun the New Age movement because they're dark and they shun the dark and go to the positive, and that's stupid. So I'm going to shun their darkness and go to my version of the positive and do the exact same thing and become an instantaneous hypocrite. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. Michelle Belden. I am extremely pleased to see this as well as how you said it. I agree. Jacob Green. Mad face. Headline reading. Se mm -hmm. Securalia Hana Trez. True teachers will be the most real people you will ever know. Okay. Megan Schulte. Interesting. I was just listening to this. I would love to hear your thoughts on this in the Camelot portal. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in the left corner at 237 what? pounds, 511. Dave the Thunderman Kelso. Five eleven. Five eleven. What the fuck are you talking about? Six one, bitch. Six one, whatever. I haven't seen you, so I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, he's he's a tall motherfucker. Only I don't fuck mothers. Yeah. No, you don't fuck anybody. Never seen. I get like one of those tin foil. Mm, okay. no, I, I just, I, I just get, I just get fucked by society's dick every once in a while. Yeah, no kidding. All right, Dave Kelso. When we view information as an authority over us, all information, regardless of the source, is harmful. When we view information as a tool, then all information, regardless of the source, is helpful. So yes, that means any source, Jesus, Gandhi, MLK, JFK, Abraham Hicks, Teal Swan, you, me, Hitler, Obama, the messenger is irrelevant. All data is like handing a loaded gun to a three-year-old when it is, it's intercepted by someone who views information as an authority. I personally have been accused of working for the elites and making, for making statements like this, and that's fine. Let people have the right to their views. Otherwise, we're hypocrites to claim to believe in freedom. So I would not suggest anyone worship nor shun any information nor any messenger. I'd say take what resonates and pitch the rest in the bin. 
and my opinion on this hurts most butts because people and quick fixes. They want to blame a messenger. They want a babysitter. So the people who blame government are the same as those who are oblivious to its corruption. Neither want to take responsibility. Both just want to shake their fists. So with all due respect, I see here, all I see here is the usual fist shaking and blame game. But that's fine. We all start there. Michael Van Stoist. There are many ways up mountain. Information is information. It can be used any way to remember one's essence. Dave Kelso. Michael, wise words, but we're Satan of some for having Megan McQuad. Interesting. I used to feel quite aligned with some of the people you speak of, but in my recent awareness I have been exploring a lot in regards to how the New Age is often just a disguise for yet another layer of dogma and something based on avoidance. Their words no longer resonate, resonate as much with me anymore. <sighs> as with yourself, this was something I decided based upon my own experiences. Frankly, I believe sometimes certain teachings are valuable on a certain wavelength and not on others. But I am a big believer in the fact that all is as it is meant to be. The universe, Gaia, knows exactly what it's doing. And these may all be natural stages of conscious evolution. Michael Van Stoist. Love is key. Daniel Pierce. Wow, I'd like to hear more because I've been doing the Abraham Hicks thing for over a year and reading and doing tons of law of attraction work. At times, I've wondered if these guys are on the level or just another pop culture, pop, pop culture bunch of feel-good money gospel preachers. I see the point. I could be lab I could be labels labeled New Age by some, but really, I am not. I feel connected to the earth on a deep level. It's not the same fad I got into. It's a life study and practice. That's why I've been following you and your philosophy. Andrew Vavrick. There is no one, there is nothing here but you. Dave Kelso. Megan, in my personal opinion, if I had data and my, I didn't want humanity to know about, here's how I would hide it from the masses. I would give it to a fool and let them share it with everyone. Anyone who follows a f the fool is following the fool, so the information will be taken out of context. Anyone who shuns the fool also shuns the information. It would result in message threads like this one, and I would then have been successful with preventing knowledge by hiding it in plain sight. This is what the elites do as, uh, as well, They're, as they are smart, because it works. Threads like this prove it works. What, just hiding it in plain sight, Dave? Dave? Yes. I had to click on mute. Like hiding in plain sight. What? Well, just the whole idea of creating that opposition so that people are... Can you hear me? Can you what hear me? You Hello. You're right, can you hear out. me now? I can hear you now. Okay, just making sure you can hear me now. Okay. Uh -huh. um, what I was saying is that the whole opposition thing, that what I described is exactly what's going on here. That's the strategy of the elites because people, you know, either, you know, they pay too much attention to the messenger. They have an opinion of the messenger, so they, they, view the information and the messenger as an authority. So either it's a good authority or a bad authority. It's either some something to go follow or it's a fraud and people are not using the information as a tool. So because of that, you know, like I said, if I had information I didn't want people knowing, I'd just put it out there, you know, with someone who's going to go out there and be seen as a fool or even somebody who's not going mm -hmm. to be seen as a fool, you know, Britney Spears hype it kind of thing. Either way, it's getting that whole mm -hmm. group think going. So whether you're pro or anti, right. it's still group think. 
That's why Mother okay. Teresa didn't want to attend an anti-war rally, but she said, if you have a pro-peace rally, invite me, because then there's no groupthink opposition shit. There's no one side against another. Because it's that energetic vampirism that's, that's the trap. Get what, I'm, get, get what I'm saying? Paul's sending me Facebook messages. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's sending me Facebook messages of the dirty variety. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's like 11 p.m. and he wants to go to bed. Ah, um, well, well, don't don't share them to me privately on my Facebook because I've got screen share on, so that won't be private oh, anymore. Oh, I am not sharing anything. <laughs> yeah, hopefully this is not. Between me and my husband. Okay, wow. good, because you know you you don't want the yeah. world to see this, you know. <laughs> no, no. No, thank you. The world oh. does not want to know. <laughs> but anyways, it's going to motivate me to move through these messages or these comments much faster. I can tell Hello, you that. Hello, Katarina. I got to know you this evening, but I got to know you in the variety that I did not want to see. I'm going to go drown myself in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm cute. <laughs> uh, At least R I'm R cute. R <laughs> Rich, is, Rich is just like, ooh, Katarina is sovereign and an individual and authentic, and she's hot. Excuse me for five minutes. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, she shares something, she shares something on that private, she, she shares something on that private, it's like, oh, God, no, no, ah, <laughs> I wanted to know you, but jeez. Jeez, Jeez, Katarina. I have no problem with the individuality thing, it's refreshing, and it's good to see, and I got no problem with it, that's not why I drown myself in the shower, it's just the fact that Okay, I want to know you as a friend, but there are certain things that just shouldn't travel outside boxes, you know? Um, oh, so I guess I just have such a, a, it's a, like, a it's candid like, it's relationship like, with Dave. Yeah, it's like, it's like, geez, Katarina, I want to come up with my own fantas fantasizations about you. I don't need your husband's help, okay? <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Me and Dave are the saltiest pricks alive. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Yeah. And the saltiest right. pricks. Yummy. Well, let's back, get back to the salt of this conversation, so that you and the Paul salty can pricks go. of this conversation. Yeah. yeah, so 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 you and Paul can go, so you and Paul can go do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. So proceed forward. Okay. Um. All right, uh, Stephanie Dempster. Wow, Jordan, what makes you say that? I'm interested to know. And Dave Kelso says, Steph dichotomies are easy to get snared into, just like atheism and theism. Religion means to bind, so whether one is working from a spiritual doctrine or not, it is still being bound to a doctrine. This is yet another common doctrine. Whether someone is pro or anti-New Age, they're still snared. To worship or condemn is still the worship of information. I'm only surprised that no one has chucked a tomato at me yet. LOL. Please inform me because in my heart I believe it. Dave Kelso. This thread is loaded with what Larkin Rose calls mental malware. So anyone who seeks who really is seeking truth will like this video. Anyone seeking to feel the high of self-righteous justification will not enjoy this video at all. Please or click play at your own risk. Have that for myself. I have not concept of mental malware. So I will check that out later. Well, I've used that and video. I've used that video in such. Jenner. Okay, we're having weird connection things going on here, but um, I've I've used that I've used Marshall. that video in a bunch of my. And a bunch of my videos, so um, 
you know, you just haven't watched that many of my videos recently because I have included the mental malware thing in a few. Yeah, I've been on the road and also dealing with my paradigm stuff. So I you're, sure you're breaking up a little bit on the you're computer very much. Many of yeah, your you're, videos. You're breaking up. Besides the ones that I told you I've watched. Did you hear that? You said you haven't seen much videos aside from the recent ones because you've been busy and on the road and dealing with your paradigms. Yep. Okay. But All right, we, we can were you hear having, me now? We, yeah, we were having a little bit of breakup, but it's cool now. Okay, cool. So I'm going to continue reading. Marshall Jenner. It's all true. Cults of personality. Swan is also on a veritable cocktail of psychoactive medication. Not that some people don't need it, but it makes you wonder how healthy. I didn't know she was on meds. Um, but no judgment. I mean, fuck, I've been on crazy meds in my lifetime. Uh, David Gray. Nature is beautiful, but it's an illusion, as is the consciousness that created it. There is only a mind. Nobody needs healing because there is no body, no world, no universe. What needs healing is the mind's belief that there is a body, a world, a universe. Forgiveness is the process of healing these beliefs. It's a process due to the linear nature of our experiences and the great fear and resistance to giving up the self. The fear of being abruptly hurled, hurled from nightmares into reality. The gentle steps of forgiveness are necessary in between. You're all beautiful. Love to you all. Uh, Stephanie Dempster. So, Dave, pretty much most folk who preach spiritual talk and consider themselves gurus are misleading us. Uh, no, that's not what anyone said for listeners who are listening in on this. Uh, Dave we view, Kelson. We view, we view the world as we are, not as it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's she's just scared. Um, living in the society we lived in, we're we've all been mind fucked. So the key is to learn to respect people's paths instead of condemning them, because we are addicted to condemnation. It feels good. It's like a drug. So no, stuff. That is not what I'm saying. Go back and read my replies on this thread. Eileen Moffat. Breath of fresh air, Jordan. So many people set off my radar, and it makes me sad to see people buy into it. I totes agree with you in Ad Bashar and Dolores Canyon. I also had a brush with a cult in my early days. So many narcissists out there are posing as gurus. They do show themselves up in the end. Intuition is the best guide for me, too, and Jenny McKinnon's joke of look at the fairy on the table, she couldn't keep a straight face. Made me so sad. I believed in her. It wasn't a joke to me. Oh well, we live and learn. Um, okay. Dave Kelso. If folks need me to get blunt, otherwise my words are not going to be understood. Okay. I'm saying when we worship information as an authority, it is not about the message or the messenger being right or wrong. It means we are full of shit no matter the message or the messenger. This whole thread is like debating the marital status of the number five. And how many here sees the trap of irrelevancy in this? How many are brave enough to acknowledge the mental malware in all of us instead of passing, uh, instead of passing blame? The whole thread is like five-year-olds in a playground accusing each other of things. Neither side is exclusively right or wrong, and both sides are deluded. Is that clear enough now? Uh, Nikos Petridis. The best teacher is within, but there are channeled entities like Bashar who bring a very self-empowering message. And then Dave Kelso. PSEC 2014, debunking every conspiracy theory in one short video. Nikos. I could care less if someone is claiming to channel Mickey Mouse. When we view information as a tool and not as our authority, the information is what's important, 
and who the messenger is or is not is irrelevant. And yes, Bashar would agree with me. Marcy Renee Johnston. I trust the Abe teachings. It took many years for them to become popular. Originally, she did t telephone consultations dirt cheap. I was lucky enough to experience. Works so well with the stuff material, which is my very favorite. Just understanding how reality works, energy goes where attention is directed. Not a new concept. I have no issues with anyone becoming popular and financially successful. You go, Marcy. You go, girl. David Gray. The one true guru is on the inside, expressed it as many in the world of form. Wisdom and truth are not in the words of the guru, but in the silent space between them, before them and after them. Jordan, fair play. You'd get an avalanche from a snowball. LOL. I don't understand that last sentence he said. Jordan, fair play. You'd get an avalanche from a snowball. LOL. Um, if you just talking about the whole thread. Yeah, if you if you throw a um a snowball down the side of a mountain, you know how it builds up and creates an avalanche. Yeah, yeah. I think he's this thread I is think, an avalanche. I think he's just saying that it, it, he's saying in a nice way that he feels that Jordan's kind of you know attention whoring a little bit, being a little hypocritical, but he's saying it in a very nice way, not. Not in such a forward way is what we're saying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dave Kelso. The wisdom levels in this conversation are starting to rise. Good to see. Uh, Dave Kelso. I think I need to use this thread in a piece I hang out. Makes for some el excellent illustration. I have Katarina Roy to thank for bringing it to my attention. And yes, Tiffany Luna, I noticed you lurking, lol. Sam Brown. It seems like both Teal and Abraham have always had some controversy surrounding them. I'm unsure of what to think, on it, honestly. Some of what Teal and the Hicks have put out has helped me a lot in the past. I've gotten some weird vibes from some of Abraham's stuff. Some of it just doesn't resonate with me, but some of it really has helped me in the past to create a positive mentality for myself. It's confusing to know what to make of them if what they've said has helped you. I'd like, I'd like to hear more of the perspectives from those who don't feel so good about them. I would like information to validate the negative icky feelings that I have about pushing away from information that helped me in the past, but I am choosing no longer to use it and benefit from it in the current present. So therefore I want to have more information to load my resistance gun with and shoot myself in the head. Dave Kelso, tag Kristen Mayer, Meyer, Mayer, Meyer. Dave Kelso, Sam, anyone brave enough to be themselves in a conformist but hurt world is going to have controversies surrounding them. And anyone who makes money being themselves will be condemned for it by some folks. Because ironically, all the truthers who say that the system is evil support anyone who makes money as a slave of the system and hates anyone who breaks those shackles. Mental malware. Pete Raw, good post. I only call out the absolute fake teachers, and in between, I don't choose to criticize, uh, as they could be fakes or people that are trying to figure it out. But I will say this. I have all the work from Abe. Been receiving emails from friends for years to look at Abraham's work, and I just can't tune in. Usually that's a sign to myself that it has no use to me personally, not for studying lies nor personal use. So with that, I will only call out Eckhart Tolle, total mind control dummy. I've had good friends and they have ended up, uh, and they have had a good openings that followed him to his quote unquote teachings and they ended up crapping out creatively and socially too. They were no longer socially adept, etc. Even some of my favorite teachers called him out. So to me personally, I would avoid him as there are signs for me. A good start 
is a book called The Art of Peace by Morhe Ushiba, probably online, Peace. Dave Kelso. Pete, unfortunately, the way society has brainwashed us all, we are all Nazis, so we view anything that does not resonate with us personally as being a scam. We are taught that our way is the only way, and all other ways are evil, be it politics, religion, or anything else. We have been taught to be Nazis. It takes bravery to admit it, because it can only be admitted when we are willing to point that finger at ourselves, equal to pointing it at society. Eddie Sinan. Right on, brother. I feel like it's not so much about the MK Ultra and all that since the end of the day that's all part of the illusion and all that. It's more about the fact that these people lost their authenticity on the way. No judgment, just observation. They are still helping some people along their path. I'm sure it's all part of the divine plan. I think the challenge is not to be caught in the follower mode and to and be your own teacher and student. Much love. Elizabeth O'Connell. Loved reading all this. It's all good, though. I'm like a little opportunistic parasite that takes in whatever I want and moves on. LOL. Maisel Openheart. Ha, ah, I'm happy you posted this because I, too, never agreed with Teal at all. She gives me the chills. And when she speaks on her videos, too many freaking video layers of programming and mostly dictatorial beliefs. Uh, not to mention New Age religion tactics of keeping the viewers or followers in a state of codependency. Uh, really? Like, I didn't know she's like sitting there with a gun pointing it at you. Yeah, that, saying, that, that, like, make, that makes no sense at all. <laughs> right, like where the hell is Teal being like, listen to me or else? I've never heard her have that kind of an attitude ever. Yeah, me neither. And if if there's any videos where she's acting like that, I'd really like to see it because I've never run across it. Yeah, me neither. That would be like a total surprise. Yeah. I mean, so, sometimes she gets a little neurotic, but that's only when she's in her like real raw honesty mode. Kind of like when I go on a, a, a bit of a rampage and start saying we're all Nazis, you know. <laughs> it's like the same same sort of thing. Exactly. <laughs> Abraham Hicks, I'm not to going to totally dismiss her teachings or way of helping people. I have resonated with her stuff before and have found it useful. Thanks for having the courage to actually post this. I'm a true believer in helping find freedom from false belief systems and MK mind controlled programs. Much love, brother. I also feel a lot of New Age movement teachers don't help with teaching freedom, but again, to depend on them. Um, I don't really yeah. think that's true. I feel like there's a lot again, of teachers out there that are just giving you tools and being yeah, like, hey, exactly. this is what's worked for me. And people are like, well, that didn't work for me, so that means it's, it can't work for anybody, which means it's a scam, which means I'm going to get all butthurt now and psychologically project. Mm -hmm. David Gray. Whether people benefit from fraud or spiritual nonsense has no effect on the reality of anyone. An illusion is an illusion. Should an illusory accountant judge themselves, attack themselves because they're not worthy... They're not being illusory do-gooders who need people to suffer in order to feel worthy. What we do in the world for a living does not heal the mind egoic perceptions. Forgiveness does. Nobody should be judged on how they make a living or what they do in the world. It's the love in their mind that counts. Sounds like he's just like reading out of the ACIM book. <laughs> well, Which is fine. And I think what he's basically saying is consequences are determined by your actions. So 
if you have a belief system that you know your state of being is to where oh I'm gonna shake my fist at everything and be in fear and oh no I'm gay ultra and act like a drunken neurotic little butthurt whatever, then it's like driving through reality drunk and you're gonna crash into things and when you crash into things when you have those consequences you're gonna point to it and go oh look I crashed into that so I'm gonna skirt my responsibility and I'm gonna say reality is just a reality of crashing and that's all it is and. It's everything and everybody else's fault. And, you know, whereas someone who is more in, I won't say positive, I'll just say more integrated mindset to where it's like, okay, well, the negative is, you know, opportunity for learning experience. And, of course, that which we deem positive, we, we like. So, of course, that's going to have benefit. And, you know, just going through reality in that, you know, look before you leap and take the value out of a bad experience sort of an attitude is going to lead to a more productive life because life is always going to have challenge. So the whole, you know, be in love thing is really more like be in a state of non butthurtedness so to speak. And, you know, the wiser your state of being, the more wiser your actions, and, you know, you're not going to have the consequences, because it's all about mm -hmm. physics, you know. You can deny yeah. gravity, you can deny gravity all you want, you can de deny it off a cliff, if, straight off a cliff if you'd like, but gravity is what it is, it's physics, it's not about ideology. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, uh, Dave Kelso, Maisel. Uh, Teal Swan, in my opinion, is batshit crazy, but she is also right about a lot of things. Being batshit crazy does not negate rightness or wrongness, and we are all batshit crazy in the eyes of others, simply for the crimes, for the crime of having our own point of view. We are all human, which all have our issues. We all have our issues, so none of us have any right to talk or teach which means all of us have every right to do so. The dichotomy negates itself. Information is just information. Who or what the messenger is or isn't is purely irrelevant. Um, you got eight likes on that, Dave. People were starting to chime hmm. into... I, 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 I must not have the completely updated screen because it says four on my end. <laughs> I guess I have to hit the refresh button. Mm -hmm. If we are going to judge any of the people who have been mentioned here, then in so judging we have just made ourselves out to be exactly that which we are claiming others are. Our hypocrisy becomes instantly recognized. We're all human. We all make mistakes. We're all learning. We're, we expect so-called gurus to not be human, to not make mistakes. And as soon as they make a mistake, we get paranoid and claim they are a fraud. Well, making a mistake is part of learning. But if we are going to view that it as that which makes a person fraudulent, then we're all frauds and we should all shut up then by that logic. Uh, Maisel Openheart. Also, if you've done enough healing within yourself and can read people's energies the way you access your own intuition is mostly by unfiltering. You can sense the contractions in your chest, a.k.a. heart. Something feels off with Teal. Teal Swan. I'm going to get back, back you up on this one because I don't doubt my inner intuition and guidance. You know, I think that's one of the silliest things that people talk about when they feel energies and stuff, is that, like, they don't understand that they're feeling energies through the filter of their own mind, and their mind is interpreting what they're feeling, and honestly, sometimes what they're feeling, like, I learned this with Mr. Dark Energy, Dark Entity person, you know, just because there were three of them in cahoots saying that they all felt a certain way about um, Paul. It was like they all were processing this energy through their own mind, but they were all of similar ideology, and so they all processed it very simply. Yet, I don't know, like, it's just all so subjective. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, totally, completely agreed. Mm-hmm. And I, I did go in, I went into that point in, in my reply that you're going to be 
getting to there as far as what I said about, you know, what the energy is passing through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I just, I always thought that was, like, really funny. It's like, no, you're not actually feeling the energy as it is. Like, it's really, I don't really think people can actually perceive that. I think that you're just viewing stuff through your own filters and feeling the reactions of your your um, your projections going off inside of you and that's the, the contraction in your heart that you feel it's the projections like I used to have similar weird feelings about people like Leia but that was because I was harshly judging myself and feeling inadequate and unworthy similar to how I felt around any beautiful woman was because I was denying my own beauty, you know? So that has nothing to do with that person. It has everything to do with me. Dave Kelso. No one should listen to any of us speaking here, and none of us should listen to ourselves either, thus coming to the conclusion that life is a hopeless hell and it best that we all kill, just kill ourselves. Yes, I'm being extremely sarcastic and ridiculous. To point out the ridiculousness and pathological neuroses of these sorts of judgments. Nice, Dave. Maisel. As a human being, we see the world as we are, not as it is. So we cannot read people's energies. We can only read our own view of their energies. So we filter it with our paradigms and subsequently our, our malware. So when we see someone shifting and learning and purging, instead of seeing it for what it is and having compassion, being happy that they are shifting in a positive direction, we see it as them having a dark energy attached to them and we shun it and judge it. Oh, I wonder where you got that from, Dave. <laughs> I've seen so much of that hypocritical BS. People speak of love and light, but they the second that they have an opportunity to show compassion, they act like little Satan's spawns. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm thumbs up. Glad to, see, you. glad to see you liked it. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking going back and liking your stuff. I don't care. Oh, I don't care if I'm your friend and people think I'm biased. Oh, Lordy. All right. I don't give an F, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. I don't give a fuck about sugarcoating people's realities. I give a fuck about being truthful to your own intuition and your own truth. What's wrong with the New Age movement is sugarcoating too much shit. Don't get mad at people who can smell the shit. I like how she bleeped out shit and fuck and that she left one shit unbleeped. It's kind of funny. Yeah. She, kind she, of she's kind of got she's got one foot in each paradigm so to speak. Yes, yeah, like she's trying to be like all herself and stuff but she's also feeling the need to censor herself. <laughs> which I think is part of the new age thing is that people like are not comfortable with swear words. Admission is free, <laughs> pay at the door, pull up a chair and sit on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. uh. All right, she says, um, what's wrong with new age movement is sugarcoating too much shit. Yet she sugarcoats her own swear words. Um, don't get mad at people who can smell the she from miles away. LOL. Don't get mad at us for not being followers. I don't follow anyone to seek fulfillment. I follow me. Dave Kelsa, did you just like that? I follow me, says the person censoring herself. No, but did you just like her comment? I, I liked it a while ago, because like I said, she has one oh, okay. foot in each paradigm. That's why I said, I agree, Maisel, that's exactly my point. It's I was my just point wondering, because somebody just point. liked it as I was reading uh, it. It went from four no. to five. Anyway. Yes, I said, I said in the what the hell are you going to do about it 
LOL, nothing, of course. That, that made no sense. I don't even know who she was talking to. I don't know either. No, it's just like random. I listen only to myself and the other voices in my head. That's who I was talking to. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Kelso. I agree, Maisel. That's exactly my point. Tiffany Luna. I honestly think it might have started out genuine, but I received a postcard in the mail about an Abraham Hicks... Abraham workshop in my area that was going to be a huge thing and each ticket would cost 200 to 300 dollars that just seems like so much money to tell people what they already know if they were to look within themselves that's a whole lot of money for a friendly reminder lol and she does these workshops all the time I'm happy for her financial success in the way it in a way I do see it as excessive on her part I would like to see her spreading the wealth and doing things that are free for people Mm. again it's like I, I know this is coming from Tiffany and she's our friend and stuff but it's like it's still that same mentality that like you know like seriously Paul and I like went into the, the social social uh, security office and stuff like the other day because he had to go request a new social security card so he can work and um. Like, so we saw all of the people who were subsisting on Obama Dalla, and, like, it was sad. It was actually really, really sad to see just how many people had kind of given up. And I know that that's not, like, really related to what Tiffany's saying right here, but it, it trails back and connects with what you were saying earlier, Dave, about um, the, the idea about uh, people... You, that when they were talking about the bus thing and, you know, how dare you teach me yeah. how to do things for myself yeah. and empower it's, me, like, yeah, it's spread like, the it's wealth like you, around. You're, you're only, you're, you're only an, an honest, genuine, good spiritual person if you make yourself a bitch to the very system you claim is evil and you're fighting against. It's like, makes no right. sense. Give me some of your money, please. Instead of being empowered and making your own. Right. Like, like I look at $200, $300, and I'm like, oh, really? That's all? Like, that's It'd be not like, that you much know, to go hang out with Abraham yeah. Hicks. That's cool. Yeah. Like, Jesus I don't know. Says, like, I just see it differently. Jesus says, give, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, and teach him to fish, and he'll never go hungry again. And these people do not want to be taught to fish. They want someone to give them a fish every day. And they do not want to be taught to fish. That's and if you I'm say, and if, if you say, if you say, I'm going to teach you to fish, they're like, well, you're evil and you're a fraud because because you teaching us how to fish is mind control and a side. And you're greedy. If, if you don't give us fish, then you're a greedy mind controller person. But if if you give us fish and 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 allow us to be toddlers and sheep to you and and let uh, let you mind control us while we're we're thinking it's not mind control, but of course, if you don't try to mind control us, then oh, that's mind control because our egos are butthurt. Then yeah, it makes no sense. I could like go deeper into that rant as it exponentially gets more ridiculous to make the point, but I won't. Mhm. Mm right. So yeah, I mean, no, you know, no disrespect to Tiffany. I think even even Tiffany realizes that she was coming from that place. Um, so I think she was just expressing the, you know, the truth of how she was feeling on it and kind but, of relating the is, to all the dichotomies. That, the thing is, is that her her viewpoint is not a, a random event. Like, this is seriously, like, this pervasive mentality through this entire group of people that, you I know, know. I, I've been coming out of for like the past couple of years. Yeah. Well, I'm just letting you know that, that Tiffany's coming in the process of coming out of it too. She's just kind of at yeah. the midway point. Yeah, her, so her that's, and I that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Is I'm just talking yeah, her, about her that. And I, yeah, her and I talk privately quite a bit. I'm obviously not going to divulge all sorts of private details. So I'm just saying I know where she's at and she's kind of having that internal battle and that internal battle is kind of being reflected in this message thread here. <laughs> uh-huh. Right, it's being reflective for all of us. That's why we've spent like two yeah. hours talking about this. Yeah, so it's like she's got her own little internal Dave Kelso on one shoulder and her own little internal Jordan on the other and, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. 
Yeah, exactly. So, uh, let me get back to the comment. Um, yeah. See, it seems like so much money to tell people what they already know. If they were to look within themselves, that's a whole lot of money for a friendly reminder, LOL. And she does these workshops all the time. I'm happy for her financial success, but in a way, I do see it as excessive on her part and would like to see her spreading the wealth and doing things that are free for people. I mean, truly getting in there and getting your hands dirty and giving to the world, not just sharing videos of her teachings on YouTube. That could be nothing more, that could be nothing more, but could be nothing but more advertisement for her workshops and such. And overall, I think it really has to do with balance, though. Sometimes people will take the teachings overboard and shun the darkness and stay in the New Age light bubble and what you do, that your ego suffers and then your life suffers. That's just what personally happened to me. So I'm not blaming the teachers. I still think their teachings are valid, but I had to realize that my darkness isn't bad and shouldn't be shunned or ignored, and my ego shouldn't be slapped on the wrist for thinking of itself. I found myself wanting to thrive, but then felt selfish for doing so. You truly lose yourself that way. Both should be equally viewed, accepted, and loved. I find a beauty in darkness, and some, and in many ways, being in darkness helped me connect with many people. Many people. And I've found growth and new perspectives to understand. I definitely agree that your greatest teacher is the one within. I first started meditating and listening to myself for guidance, and then when I started, well, or when I realized these teachers were saying the same things my inner guidance were saying, that's why I liked them and resonated with them. But it, it definitely shouldn't be used as a crutch. Maybe a friendly reminder from time to time, but not to completely follow and worship as if you couldn't come to the conclusions on your own. That's giving away your power when you feel uh, you can't do it unless someone else tells you how. To each their own. Follow your guidance. Follow your own guidance. Trust in and believe in yourself. Also want to throw in that I find workshops and shows these teacher put on and charge so much money for is just another form of entertainment or quick fixes as it's getting your shot of spiritual heroin. Uh, then people feel good and become addicted and like, and feel like that is the source of the feel good. So then you follow and hand your money over. I don't agree with that because I've been to workshops and retreats and stuff like that, that had extremely significant lasting impact on my life. And it wasn't a quick fix. It was like, go in there and deal with your shit. So. Yeah, and plus, I mean, as far as like the the YouTube video end of things, I mean, that's a part of why I have paradigm shift and educational comedy in the first place because those who are receptive to information and are willing to use it as a tool instead of that heroin, um, and I can't control what someone's going to choose to do. They have an, they have mm -hmm. an equal choice of doing one or the other, and you know, it's like I found that for me videos, YouTube videos and stuff with all these different teachings have really helped me become a better person in my life because I viewed them as tools. You know, I view it as someone's giving me a hammer. I don't feel like I need to become the hammer and live my life like a hammer as if I was a hammer. But if I have a hammer and I need to build a fence and I have nails and I have wood, then well now I have the hammer and I know I can use the hammer so I'm going to go ahead and then use it. I'm not expecting the hammer to do anything for me. I'm not imagining myself as being the hammer. Um, I'm not looking to some other authority to tell me what to build. It's just, you know, I have a hammer. So if I happen to need to use that, then I have it. But if someone wants to see that as their god, then it's like I said before, all information then at that point is dangerous, regardless of the source. So it doesn't matter if you're 
physically at a workshop or um, watching a YouTube video or if you're in a church or if a random stranger is telling you something or if a good friend or family member is telling you something. It then does not matter the source of the information. Absolutely all information is devastatingly dangerous in the hands of those who worship the information as their authority, as their god, as their leader, and they do not see the information as a tool. The people who see information as a tool, then all information is useful. You know, mm -hmm. shit might be messy and stink, but if I'm using it as a tool, I know that I don't have to have a belief system to where I roll around naked in shit and then blame the shit and claim the shit is victimizing me. I know then I could use the shit as manure, as fertilizer, and then grow a beautiful garden in it because I know that that shit is a tool. It's not my god. It's not my master. Mm -hmm. so, I'll let you continue there. All right, yeah, because I'm going to have to go soon because it's... You know, 11.40. Paul's kindly stepping out of the room for me. Um, I will restate my... This is what you're saying, Dave. Uh, I will restate my original point as well when we view information as an authority over us. All information, regardless of the source, is harmful. When we view information as a tool, then all information, regardless of the source, is helpful. Did I just reread that? It's harmful, sorry. Uh, so yes, that means any source, Jesus, Gandhi, MLK, JFK, Abraham Hicks, Teal Swan, Yumi, Hitler, Obama, the message is relevant, all data is like handing a loaded gun to a three-year-old when it's intercepted by someone who views information as an authority. I personally have been accused of working for the elites for making statements like this, and that's fine. Let people have the right to their views. Otherwise, we're hypocrites and claim to believe in, free to, to claim to believe in freedom. So I would not suggest anyone worship nor shun in, in, any information nor the mes any messenger. I say take what resonates and pitch the rest in the bin. And my opinion on this hurts most butts because people are looking for the instant gratification and quick fixes. They want to blame a messenger. They want a babysitter. So the people who blame government are the same as those who are oblivious to its corruption. Neither want to take responsibility. Both just want to shake their fists. So with all due respect, all I see here is the usual fist shaking and blame game. That's fine. We're, we all start there. Um, Tiffany, or Dave Kelso says, Tiffany, people oftentimes forget that some venues are expensive because of actual expenses, LOL. The places she tends to hold her meetings does tend to have a high price tag by default of the place being what it is. So if we're going to do the blame game thing, let's blame the Illuminati for this fiat greed based money system. And then let's blame ourselves for letting them do it to us. Then we can negate blame altogether. Lily of the Valley says, uh, well, I sure don't like when people say my own flavor of truth is bullshit. I personally love Abe and those teachings have been a big help for me to access my potential. My potential is very different from yours. I see how it is not your style at all, but it's mine. And Dave Post, now I'm going to torture you all with my singing, uh, with my singing, with my parody about the New Age dichotomy. Peace up, dealing with the New Age paradigm. Uh, Tiffany Luna says, yes, Dave Kelso, I love the point that you originally made about viewing information. I think we are all pretty much saying the same thing. LOL. And yeah, I get that. The expenses and whatnot. So then why not just hold smaller venues? Why does it have to be so large and pricey? You have to ask yourself at that point if your spiritual heroin is worth $300, LOL. Just personally, in my opinion, I would ask myself, would you rather spend $300 to listen to someone tell you something you already know, or would you rather spend $300 putting together food and items for people that are in need of it? The everyday people who actually need someone to help perform miracles, you know, actually working and being the change that people need to see, to believe. I'm no saint, but I know how to love and how to be compassionate. I know how to listen and 
be there when someone needs an ear or a shoulder and warm arms. I know how to make a sandwich. If you're hungry and in need, I will make you one. LOL. There are so many valid perspectives, and all of them are true for each person. Just how you say, Dave, that it's a cake, not a light switch. We all have opinions and our own valid perspectives and ideas of truth. I'm not saying Esther is wrong for what she chooses to do. I'm just stating that what I would personally do myself. LOL, I said earlier that I would like to see her get her hands dirty with work, but maybe that's not her path. Maybe it's my own. I realized lately that I don't need to be rich to help people, and that's something I've been struggling with myself for a while, feeling like I need to be rich first to help. <laughs> oh, Dave, uh, Paul tells me I have five minutes. Okay, um, that is my moment. <laughs> Oh, funny messages. I realized lately that I don't need to be rich to help people. And that's something I've been struggling with myself for a while, feeling like I need to be rich first to help. But then I realized that helping with anything you can is what makes you rich inside. Axel Cruello says, New Age sucks. Hey, Dave, Katerina. Yeah? Tell Paul... Agreed. Five minutes. He has five minutes to join us in this Google Hangout. Otherwise, I still get to keep Katarina. Agreed. No, I'm not. I need totally to know that. <laughs> I veto that because I do. Would I would like to go to bed? I'm yawning while I'm reading this. I've been <laughs> at this for like two hours. Um, yeah, Dave. So much for a quick hangout. I know how these go. Ha ha. I know, they go forever. Hey, I never said this one was going to be quick. I never made that claim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gosh, I guess people have been adding to the thread and Jordan like has woken up or something and he's like going... Well, when I, you I'm know, just like me, I'm reading down a little bit, and it's me, kind of me and, funny. me and Rich, uh, me and Rich can take over when you're ready to leave, and then you can just watch it on the hangout later. Yeah, I'm just reading down a ways. Like people are calling him out on it, being like, "Odd words from Jordan Levine," as he is the most new age guy I know in his practices of holistic modalities. So well, it's kind of like. It's it's about being the change again because it's like when when everybody wants to act and say something but they they look around first is anybody else doing it because if shots start getting fired I want them to get hit first before me oh nobody else is doing it so I'm going to remain quiet so it's like you know as I started rolling in with my co comments uh, you know you and other people got the confidence to to say yours and more and more people and so on and so forth and I started this little avalanche so it's like I say you don't need to be the whole fire you just need to be the spark that gets the fire going so whether it's expressing views like what we're doing or waking people up to the corruption of government or whatever it is you don't need to be the whole fire just like Tiffany said, you don't need to be rich to help people. All you have to mm -hmm. do is use the, use the brain God gave you and be willing to take action. I'm just kind of laughing about some of the stuff that's down a little ways. Like, I know you're going to continue in logical order after I get off, but I'm just, my own curiosity, I was wondering, like, what Jordan was chiming in about. No, like actually, we're, we're going to we're gonna continue in logical order while you're getting off. Because okay. as, because you won't be here. You'll be getting off with Paul. So <laughs> we'll be continuing, in continuing our order while you're getting off. So okay. Just... <laughs> I'm, I'm reading, though, about like how there's this guy, David Shepard, that's making fun of Jordan. And then Jordan's like, what? David, what? Ha, 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 ha. And then that Siri girl says, Jordan, can you explain to me what happens when those undercurrents get you? I may be living in a more positive, non-fear-based reality, but I don't understand what that means in everyday, or in real everyday life. What are those, what are the things that happen to the people who get sucked into these energies? Death? If so, what is bad about death? Or I'm just clueless. 
and then Jordan says, I have totally used more new age terminology in the past to suit communication needs in the spiritual community, but I've never really fit that mold when it comes down to who I am and what I do. Uh-huh. So, it, yeah, and that, that's kind of like a cockroach saying, well, I never really fit the mold of being a cockroach. I've never been a cockroach. I've just, I've been a dog. I've just been in denial of being a dog, says the cockroach. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like nonsense. It's like you know you're looking at it like, dude, whatever you're smoking, it's good stuff. Why aren't you sharing? Paul says one minute, <laughs> and then Jordan says, um, David, do not mistake my love of mingling with people, new agey or not. My being a spiritual person or my use of holistic modalities as being someone who is into new age stuff. That's silly. And then Chris Hubbard says. Sounds to me like a projection. And, yeah, this is all funny. Well, and then if somebody asks if he's ever met Teal, and he's like, no, Chris, I haven't. I just know people who have and have ended up getting away from all of her stuff. I'm also shamanically oh, trained. Okay and can look into people's bodies and souls and stuff, not saying I can know everything about a person, but I can see what their mindset is like, what okay, their general so, so pattern is, and what kind of entities are mingling in their fields. So, That's so basically, a lot about a person. That's hold something. on, so, basi so, so basically, if Jordan talks to William Black before getting to know me, then that means everything William Black says about me is true. William Black's opinion is that I'm evil and stupid and so uncredible. So, by proxy, and, Dave Kelso you know, works for the CIA. Yeah, you know, that sort of thing. So, it's like if he talks to William Black before actually knowing anything about me, then because he talked to William Black first, and William Black is someone who's had an, a negative experience with me, that must mean that I'm just this, this horrible, criminal manipulating son of a bitch because William Black says so. Sounds like Jordan is yet another headline reader. Oh, gosh. All right, Paul's here. Gotta go, guys. All righty. All right. Love you. Catch you later. Love you. Had fun. No, no, don't yep. take it, Paul. No, stop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, yep, Katarina's taking some... No, 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 no. The funny thing is, is that that one dark energy guy said told me that Paul was gonna take my phone. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Bye. Well. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. I the, love the, you. The the, the 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 William Paul Black cock is going into Katerina right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. How about how about you continue as as narrator now? You've been quiet for too long. Yeah, I know, because I've been listening to Katarina, and Katarina's awesome, and that's the first time I've been on with Katarina, so I was giving her the limelight as as we haven't seen or heard of her for a little while, um, minus the few text chat dialogues now and then. But in the case of Katarina, she's really getting a dialogue. Ha, ha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Katarina. Dialogue. Katarina Edwards. Uh, this is uh, William Black. Uh, apparently, you want to have Paul's log. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's pretty good. Anyway, so. probably there's a bunch of people leaving right now because they're going, ew. <laughs> but anyway, so so while well, they're having sex right now, why don't you look at this at the at the screen view here on the Google Hangout so you can see where we are in our our place so that you can kind of pick up on match where you're at so you can continue as narration, bitch. Okay. Um, yeah, New Age sucks. Kelso's reply. As for the idea when we are brave and decide to be ourselves and then butthurt people get all disappointed and paranoid because we are confronting or conforming to their egos. 
I just want to take a moment and think of all of the things I have been accused of simply for the crime of having a different opinion than someone else. My YouTube channel has been accused of being an Illuminati psyop. I've been accused of being a CIA agent. I've been accused of being a minion of the direct employee of the upper echelons of the Illuminati. I've been accused of not even existing, i.e. Dave Kelso is nothing more than a pseudonym. Oh, really? Well, I've been accused of being allowed to speak, of me being allowed to speak my views as a danger to society that needs to be silenced. And this was said by someone who is, who is a so-called freedom lover and truthers who praised my every word about everything until I said something he disagreed with. Then it was all downhill from there. I've been accused of being a new agent by truthers. I've been accused by being a a negative New World Order Alex Jones paranoid nutter simply because I don't shun the dark and I love to light myself into I love and light myself into a cerebral trance. I'm accused of being a left wing by the right, the right wing by the left. In fact, every group in paradigm tends to think I belong to the enemy camp. And by default me being an individual and not allowing myself to be dominated by their egos. Because apparently I'm not allowed to disagree with a person or a group while simultaneously agreeing with some other things that some person or group says. I'm apparently also not allowed to have my own views, which no other groups share in common with me. So yes, we are raised to be Nazis in a Nazi society, and no one has, any, has been exempt from this emotional and psychological abuse. We've all been MK ultra now when we decide to have the balls enough to admit it. That's when... The healing begins, but before then, it's just all the blame game and lip service, no matter if you're talking for someone or something or against someone or something. So there's no disrespect to Jordan. He is just going through what we all go through. But his post is pure blame game, mental malware, lip service, period. He won't find any teachers to say anything good about until he chooses to view information as a tool instead of an authority. I've been there. I used to be, I used to blame and rage. It feels good to shake our fists. It's a high, it's an addiction, it's a rush. We're all drama whores until we come out of denial. That's the human condition right now. We're maturing, we're awakening, it's a storm. There's beauty, there's ugliness, there's love, there's hate. We're waking up from a nightmare, it's empowering, it's disturbing, it's 31 flavors and then some. <sighs> That's a whopper. Tiffany Loon, Again, Dave Kelso. Tiffany Luna, because that's what Esther enjoys, so why not? If all someone is interested in is just the information, then the audio and video is online, both cheap and for free. But if you want to attend a nice party and you're there for the party, a party costs money, and it doesn't make you bad or evil or fraud for not inviting the whole world to your party. A homeless guy who has no internet connection I think he meant to say to a homeless guy who has no internet connection. Or not. Wait a minute. Am I a fraud or not finding a way to let homeless people... No, no I'm, I'm saying a homeless guy has no internet connection. Oh, am, okay. I, am, I, am, am I a fraud for not finding a way to okay. let homeless okay. people watch okay. my piece? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. LOL. But Dave, YouTube requires an internet connection. What about the people who have no... Shame on you, Dave, for using the interwebs. Well, oh my god, what? Calling out others' teachings like this completely undervalues and frankly disrespects the internal guidance of others. You're, you're, you're forgetting to mention who is doing the speaking. Oh, yeah. Presley Love. Presley Love, love. oh my god, what? Anybody, anybody who's watching the frickin' thing is going to be seeing exactly what I'm reading. Yeah, so. and, and and anybody who thinks, so oh, I don't need to watch it, I can just lay back and chill because they're reading it anyway, is going to get confused. Wow, well, wow, well, yeah, true. Presley Love, oh my god, what? Lily of the Valley. Calling out others on teachings like this completely undervalues and frankly disrespects the internal guidance of others to choose for themselves what to be interested in. Presley Love. Teal is good. Dave Kelso. Yep, Lily. But also, it's his right to learn his lessons of life path and this what all experience teaches. Kristen Meyer. I absolutely love this thread. What an excellent way to share and reflect upon ideas and where they come from. Dave Kelso. Now, Chris 
Kristen gets to see the adults can equally be full of shit as teenagers, so that she can ease up on herself and know that all humanity is going through the same shifts. I agree with that. Lily of the Valley. For sure, Dave. Dave Kelso. In anything, the teens have their better advantage. Their heads aren't as filled with as much mental malware. Agreed. Dave Kelso. Tag Richard Hamilton. Cue me being into this live conversation that's been going on for about, oh, I don't know, six hours. Kristen Meyer. I've had a lot of shit to sort through within myself, and I have to say I'm glad I don't have any more than I do. It's a process, but one that is so worth it. Yet again, Kristen, I agree. Dave Kelso, you've been doing wonderful, Kristen Meyer. Everyone else want to see how wonderful? <laughs> uh, Dave Kelso, thanking Kristen 2014 PSEC video. Thanking Kristen on forgiveness, PSEC 2014. PSEC intervention style, yet again, cue me again. Um, Dave Kelso posts again, PSEC 2015 asked if a not-so-educational parody, hilarious, if you get the chance. Ellie Dawn. I'm just a noob to all this, but I've been going through a bit of crash course the past few months, though. Great to see all these different points of view. Dave Kelso. Presley. Teal is good. She also has not she is also more than a little nuts, but it's part of why she is good. She's real, she's raw, she's not a guru on a cloud, but she's down in the trenches with the rest of us. Dave Kessel posts again. He said 2013, Katarina Edwards and Teal Scott letting go of the guilt and self-abuse. Dave Kelso. Katarina Roy is so nuts, too. That's part of what makes her such a good friend. She'd be useless to anyone without her element of her element of humanity. How could anyone not be nuts in an insane world? Does anyone bother to ask that question? Oh well. Dave Kelso, we all want to point fingers and judge who is and isn't crazy. If crazy and not being credible are the same thing, anyone who claims to be totally sane are the ones who are the ones to worry about. The ones who can admit their level of insanity are those you can trust. Me. I am punching your salad. Dave Kelso, he said 25 feet the charge on the crazy club. Alethea Don. Dave, will you please stop typing? I need to go do stuff, but I don't want to miss this. Ah, uh, Dave Kelso. Scroll back for the win. This is a real-time conversation. Dave Kelso. Richard Hamilton, how about we really spice things up and take this thread to a Google Hangout like we're doing right now with screen share mode on and then post the link here. That should really stir the pot like we're doing now. And it just disappeared to YouTube. And then I reply with, hell yeah, ha, 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 Gerald Lopez Ford. Beware, Jordan, just in your case, you're buying of alchemy workshops that you're teaching, selling to make a living. It's it off huge to help people, and you're becoming famous from it. You might be controlled by MK Ultra, just saying. This seems to be an issue to the people who are spreading messages that become huge. So much for oneness, even this whole movement, there seems to be separation. But I do agree, look within. As always, my favorite Buddha teaching, believe no one if I have said it unless the unless it resonates with your common sense of question everything. Dave yeah, Kelso, Richard Hamilton. You get to play narrator this time though. I've been dominating too much. <laughs> this is so funny. We're talking about our intentions from like two and a half hours ago and here we are rereading them as we said them. This is it's kinda of like a time loop. Yeah, space, space time is folding in on itself for a second. Mm -hmm. It's like one of the Star Trek episodes. Mm -hmm. You can play narrator this time, though. I've been dominating too much at the top with the hangouts lately. Oh, well. I think the we'll... calls are the cards are all threes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll talk what Iliath has said. It's synchronistic for the universe that I need to let someone else talk. Ha ha ha. I'll be right back. We can load up the hangout. And I comment, you're going to have to fill me in a little first. There's so much to read. LOL. The event will be live in a few minutes, and it will show up on my YouTube channel as a live event when it's broadcasting. So if you don't see it, refresh. going to be using screen share, and the stars of the show will be you guys. And ha! Paradigm Shift Educational Comedy B2.0. Analog. Awesome discussion. 
I'm all for self-balance because it takes us where we need to be. Nothing is absolute. We are constantly growing and expanding. I honor the divine in you. LMFAO, this is so funny. Could not agree more. Anyone who wants to join us live on the line, DM me for the invite. You, like are, you, are, you, are, you are once again forgetting to state who is actually doing the talking. And again, I'm just getting to the point where it's like we've been doing this for two and a half hours. But anyway, Anna Love says that's awesome. Katerina Roy does the laugh my fucking ass off. This is so funny. Julianne Morrison could not agree more. Dave Kelso, anyone who wants to do a slide on DM for link otherwise, just keep participating here. We'll get to you while broadcast beginning in 10 seconds. Jeremy Johnson, I think it's not a black or white thing. Couldn't say that I know... What Teal is really up to, I do know that the shadow work aspect of the material, aka emotional pain and trauma processing, is highly valuable, and I feel that I've had major growth benefits and relief from pulling up some deep seated imprints on the roots. Of course, this is not a new thing. Many other people with different aspects of life purpose doing the same thing through various ways to me. It's how we personally use information because everyone's going to do it differently. Megan Schultz. I'd like to thank everyone who's contributed to this post and put out energy for a simple understanding permission slip and was able to be blown away by the understanding I received. Kudos to everyone here, especially Jordan for allowing the full thread. Remy Johnson, many of the things you speak about are true. It doesn't really matter what they want with you as long as you use the right information to your benefit. It all comes down to opinions. I don't I really don't have a problem with Abraham Hicks or Teal at all. Their information is of value to some point, but some of the value to be able to stay away from the information for others it will for others it will be to listen more. I personally don't believe and know what much of what these people say is true because they say it, but because it's been my prior and current personal experience of how things are. Mike Brimner, as far as I can tell, Teal Swan is spiritually for toddlers. For that I don't have a problem with her. She just doesn't offer me anything that but trivialities and factoids and intellectual ticklers. Intellectual ticklers aren't that useful when it's time to get down and dirty and move the attention onto the nervous system and around the body. I'm just so over the whole intellectual snob thing. It bores me. Information is not power. Attention is power. Information is only power when it gets my attention. <laughs> it's just reeling in attention with her far out and wild information. It's good information, great information, band fantastic for intellectualizing reality, but not so much for useful actual nervous system awakening. Okay, quit counterdicting yourself there, Mike, you moron. Ooh, did I butt hurt you? I called you a moron. Yes, I did. I think your brain... Well, I think... Don't. Well, I think... Well, I think from... Uh, I think from... Just... Uh, from, uh, from one perspective, he's right in the sense that, you know, whatever people feel floats their boats, you know, it's all good. He has a certain, you know, view of what floats his boat, and that's fine. And at least he's not being a domineering Nazi saying, well, I think that what's good for me has to be good for everyone else. Fuck you. You know, he's not being like that. He's only expressing what he feels is or isn't good for him and why. And he's stating that whatever anybody else likes or wants to think, then cool. So I really don't have a problem with anything he said because I think he makes it clear that he's just speaking only for himself of himself and he's respecting whatever else anybody, you know, wants to do. That's, you know, up to them to make that decision for themselves and I feel that he is respecting that. Oh, well, yeah, but yet again, it's like, I think it's kind of contradictory to his statement, but, you know, he's contradicting himself Anyway, moving on. Megan Schultz. It's all about integration and when we allow it with everyone, the puzzle pieces fit beautifully. I feel like we've read this already. Jordan Levine. I don't think most people def defending the New Age stuff understand what I was getting at with the forces and currents involved. The information being true or not isn't what matters, but the fact that the truth is being used as ball to get people trapped into what you could call Luciferic forces. Forces that are inherently destructive to humans is what matters to me. I can see these forces melt people's minds and program them into spiritual slaves, but yeah, everyone's on their own journey and has the freedom to do what they want, including be caught in mind traps and be programmed into different sort of slavery than they're used to. 
people doing it are really nice to look at and or act nice most of the time, so it must be okay. Toby Snyder. Wow. To I, I just, you know, with Jordan's reply there, I just see that as total... Like, it's like he's speaking in, in, into a mirror, in my opinion, because he's kind of locking himself into an enslavement, um, the, the very enslavement and darkness and luciferianness that he's, you know, that he's talking about there. You know, he's kind of caught, caught in his own ball of yarn, in my opinion. And we already went into exactly how and why earlier, so I'll, I'll spare the... The, the ten minute rant I don't need to go into because I already did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Um, man, it sounds like my camera is going really quiet. Oh, now it's picking up. I don't know why it gets so quiet. Thing is about a mile away from me. Anyway, um, yeah, I agree. Um. Cody Snyder, it's honestly just a good idea to thoroughly eliminate the gurus of the mainstream from your experience without interpreting them as bad or demonizing them. In a way, we all have to kill our idols at some point. Whoever they are, wherever they are, is really quite and immaterial. It is your journey, after all. Jordan Levine, indeed, the people being good or bad is irrelevant when compared to the importance of us taking control of our own lives. Molly of Beckland. I don't see them as idols at all. I know they are just people and their message only mirrors my own path. I get the same messages from so many things in life. The point is to flow and go with the experiences and adventures and lessons. We are only here for a limited time. By being worried about them being malevolent only puts our negative spin in our mind space. It's fear and lack of, lack of scarcity mentality at work. I used to be obsessed with reptilians and entities, and it only gave me terrible anxiety and fear in my heart all the time. Like, seriously, if you were to be controlled by a reptilian, what could you do other than bend over and kiss your butt goodbye? Same thing with the zombie apocalypse or anything you cannot really control the outcome of. I prefer to focus on things I can change in a positive way. Exactly. That's the key point. It's not shun the dark. It's like... You know, be true to yourself and do what you can. Otherwise, it's like you're closing your eyes and covering your ears while you're in a burning building going, there is no fire, there is no fire, there is no fire, there is no fire. And even though Jordan is speaking against that sort of mentality, he's like, oh, well, we shouldn't cover our ears and be in the building, burning building. At the same time, he is at the same time covering his ears and doing that because it's like, oh, I'm going to psychologically project my ego onto these other people and pull basically a headline reader reading William Black's blog sort of, you know, a thing. And he talks all about how, oh, well, you know, I just I just feel energetically that these people are not blah 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 but all he's talking about is what he's seen from third party what information he's gotten second third and fourth hand about people and then anything he is interpreting directly let's go back to what Katarina said and what I said about how we filter that through our beliefs so if we believe that oh there's these groups of people that are co-opt gonna co-opt us and whatever and we should shun that then we are being co-opted in doing that because we're putting ourselves in a state of ignore ants because we are worshipping information as an authority while, while being in denial of doing it. I'm not worshipping information as an authority. I'm being sovereign while I shun information as I use the messenger as justification. Yeah, so it's it's a hamster wheel of denial and psychological projection. Mm -hmm. And then Daniel Littman. Well, you will overanalyze that, get in a happy place and reiterate that, and yet him again. If you really believe that, you wouldn't be trying to convince everybody else. You're looking for confirmation from others of how right you are. Don't worry, Teal does, the, does it all the time. Lily Bell. Yeah, he was being half serious, half sarcastic, but <clears throat> I agree. That part about Teal is just kind of poking fun. He was he was just like he was just basically from a stance of, oh well, he's making fun of Teal. I guess I'll compare him directly to Teal and see whether or not he can handle it. <laughs> that's that's so why that's why I put him in that voice, because I knew he was being somewhat 
Yeah, he was he was being a benevolent troll. Is <laughs> what he was doing. Yeah. So it's that. That that's cool. That was funny. It's you know I let I do that sort of stuff too. Like you know when I said, well you know seeing as life is just this way, let's just all just kill ourselves and get it over with because it's hopeless. I was obviously just being sarcastic. Okay. <coughs> okay. Got some ladies great. Lily Bell, this is very inter a very interesting post, and I enjoy all of the comments. I would never refer to another human being as universally correct, since we are all just here providing our versions of the truth, whatever each of us feels that may be. But I love hearing people's opinions, whether my first reaction is to agree or not, to help shape my own capacity for accepting everyone else's. I've heard so many. I've heard many people's opinions about you and Leia. Starting the same thing you were saying about Teal and Abraham. I've always loved you too, though. As well as Teal and Abraham, perhaps Teal comes off the way that she does due to her strong Gemini placement of not wearing a heart on her sleeve. I'm sure she doesn't contain much water in her natal chart, or maybe because she's been caught through so much torture. The things done to her were disgusting and vile. That's just learn to detach and view everything from a very analytical standpoint without such obvious heart in her words, how she comes off to, as to others. Lily Bell again. I'm the most flawed, misunderstood, contradicting person I know. So I don't want to come off like I think my opinions are correct. I just believe in the absolute possibility of everything. Agreed. Amen. That's probably like the best comment on there. <laughs> One of the best. And it's so simply phrased, but yet so strong in terms of meaning. That's just like, yes, I agree. That is totally true. Or again, I remember when I was 16 and Abraham Hicks was my world. Daniel Littman, how did you create the separation between you and non-physical? You didn't. <laughs> oh, God, he's, he's being good. He's being a troll. Sophia Space Kalamo D. Sebastian Palladian Lamb Fat M. Won't let me tag four hours ago. You said the truth is irrelevant. There are as many truths and perspectives. The only truth is the one that serves you right here, right now, for your highest upliftment. Quantum physics proves that we are all connected. I humbly submit this idea. Objective truth does not exist. The truth does not depend on your perception. I had already come to this independently, but Mark puts this well. Truth is what does not waver. Sorry, the comment above just exemplifies New Age bullshit. YouTube link. David Shepard Love. Odd words from Jordan Mulvine, as he is about the most New Age guy I know in his practices of holistic modalities. So speaking against generality as such as New Age practitioner. Yeah, practitioners, while well, continuing and very strongly to be one. Makes for a lot of comedy as he stirs the pot of disbelief while believing his new age way is the way. Jordan Levine. What, David? What? Ha 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 ha. Suri Ku. Suri Ku. Jordan, can you explain to me what happens when those undercurrents get you? I may be living in a more positive, non fear based reality, but I don't understand what that means in real everyday life. What are the things that happen to the people who get sucked into these energies? Death? If so, what is bad about death? Suri Ku. Or I'm just clueless. Jordan Levine. I have totally used more New Age terminology in the past to suit communication needs and spiritual community, but I've never really fit that mold when it comes down to who I am and what I do. It's so hard because we all feel giving our opinions to help others. David Jordan clearly states that he is not states he is not saying he is the way. To put it very simply, he is asking others to fall into programming. It's the equivalent of subscribing to Abraham Hicks or Jordan Levine or Teal Swan and saying, yes, this is the absolute truth. I'm going to live by this by this here exact set of belief systems and apply them as correct and whole. We do it all the time. Yet again, spot on, spot 
on. Well, I'm saying that. Both sides. Yeah, but here, here's the thing. Um, though Jordan isn't outright saying he is the way, he he is kind of saying, well, these these other people are psyops just because I say so, and like tons of contradictions. Uh huh. You know. So, I mean, I really think this whole thing is a big psychological projection. I mean, that's, you know, <laughs> that's where I stand on it. Uh, and it's inter it's interesting to see the House of Mirrors at work in this thread. Yeah, okay. Um, Daniel Whitman, a leading-edge conversation with many new desires being watched. This is a benefit to us all. Thank you, Jordan Levine. We are all in this together. Many hands make light work. We can agree to agree on disagreement. Brian Treadlett, after reading this thought-provoking thread and the 230 comments, I think I'll go for a jog and get some circulation back. Discernment is important, especially when dealing with your spirituality. Oh, uh, that was good. Chris Hubbard, have you ever met Teal in person? Chris Hubbard, tagging Jordan Levine. Jordan Levine, David, no. Do not mistake, oh, David, do not mistake my love for mingling with people. No age or not, my being a spiritual person and the use of holistic modalities as being someone who is into new age stuff. That's silly. Chris Hubbard, sounds to me like, a, sounds to me like projection. Tell me to be so. So over it, Jordan Hart. Chris Hubbard, and strict judgment as if one is way better than the other, another. It's about the individual and how they perceive information. Jordan Levine, no Chris, I haven't. I just know people who have and have ended up getting away from all of her stuff. And I'm so shamanically trained and can look into people's bodies and souls and stuff, not saying I can know everything about a person. but I. But I can't see what their mindset is like, what their general patterning is, and what kind of entities are mingling in their fields. That stuff tells a lot about a person. Meanwhile, you're having trouble, you know, really anybody any, what's being reflected in your own mirror there, Jordan. I wouldn't be yeah, talking any, much about looking at other people and making quick judgments. I highly yeah, doubt any, you could look at me and know what my mindset yeah, is without the knowing yeah. shit about me. Anybody who uh, who um, uses terminology like "oh, someone has entities in their field," that is totally coming from uh, from you know just a, a fear-based, psychologically projected sort of thing. Because when we see entities in someone else's field, what we're really seeing is them reflecting to us an aspect of us that we, we've we been too butthurt to face, and we're offended by the reflections. So then we're like, oh, that's an entity in their field. I have to stay away from that. I can't for a second imagine that quantum physics might be true, and that things of similar frequencies attract to things of other similar frequencies. Therefore, I might be seeing that in my reality as a way of facing my own demons and calling myself on my own shit so I could clear that, but instead of taking personal responsibility for my own inner bullshit, I'm going to psychologically project it and say, oh, someone else has a demon attached to them. Okay. Uh, no kidding. Chris Hubbard, if you were so trained, you would be in a more loving space even for Teal, but if you aren't making an assumption based off of thought forms that are created by you. I've met Teal before and sat down and talked. She doesn't fit your description at all. Jordan Levine. Again, for the millionth time, I'm not saying anyone anyone is good or bad, better or worse, or that any of that props to all souls on Earth. I'm simply saying that there are people claiming to teach others how to be spiritual and how to seem to be manipulated and or manipulating. Would you trust someone claiming to teach Kung Fu who did not, in fact, know any Kung Fu? Oh, he's why not saying... Are you, why are you talking he's not, to yourself? He, he's not saying anyone is good or bad or better or worse. He's just saying, see these people? They're Illuminati. They're MKUltra. Avoid them. 
Well, that's not saying they're bad or worse. When I say that they're bad or worse and need to be avoided in their MK Ultra, I'm not do I'm not putting a negative connotation there and saying that that which I'm saying is bad is that which I'm saying is bad. And and I'm not saying that just because I say something is worse that I'm saying something is worse because I'm totally not. Well, we're, what are you guys all talking about, man? It's like what admission is free. Pay at the door. Pull up a chair. Sit on the floor. Tongue twisters, man. Chris Hubbard, you're making assumptions based off of an image. How did I describe teal? I don't think I did. Didn't say I don't <clears throat> have love for her either. Describing any situation at play, not a person. I'm describing what's happening based on my Avoid her! She's MK Ultra Illuminati! I feel the love, don't you, Rich? Oh, I totally feel it right now. Yep, yep, just uh, roses and sparkles and God, just, my heart is just, oh yeah, baby. I feel oh, like I'm going to have fun, I'm going to have fun with the next, can you hit the see more on that one? The see more on Jordan Levine, yeah, there you go, right there, there we go. Okay, describing a situation, play that person, Jordan Levine again. I'm describing what's happening based on my perception as well as what other people end up experiencing after being in touch with the groups and tendencies that follow. Teal's teachings, I'm not saying that the lady is a demon or anything, lol, just saying that there isn't much practicality to what she's saying. And also that there's some weird stuff going on that people can easily be blinded to when meeting her in person. And she comes off very nice and charming and all of that. Oh, I'm having well, fun. Well, okay, oh. hold on, wait a minute. I need, I need to say something. Seeing as Go ahead. everything that I've agreed with about her videos, I'm not saying I've agreed with everything in all of her videos, but the parts that I have agreed with, I didn't agree with it because she was saying so. I agreed with it because I feel it's something I already knew. So apparently, if nothing she says has any real practical application or validity or whatever it was he was saying there, then apparently nothing I know or in my life experiences has it either. And, you know, the fact that I agreed with her on certain things because I feel it matched what I already thought and felt just within my own inner being, not because anybody else told me that it was true or told me that I should believe a certain thing or whatever. I just felt that it made sense to me internally. Um, but, you know, well, apparently that just means I'm an MK Ultra sheep who's been, you know, manipulated by her or something and that my views are just irrelevant and have no practical application at all because they happen to agree with some of the things she says. So guilt by association. Yeah, there you go. So uh, everybody stay away from Dave Kelso and PSEC. He's a, an Illuminati, PSYOP, dark entity attached motherfucker and so is Katerina and Rich and Kristen and Tiffany and everybody we associate with and our information is irrelevant so just cl cover your ears and hum because we're just all all we're claiming to have kung fu but but not actually having it so just cover your ears and hum oh better close out this video right now cuz you're you're naughty and and you're being brainwashed and manipulated by dark entities attaching to your field if you continue listening to us yeah okay I, you are getting manipulated, don't you know? I'm friends with Dave Kelso, and he's one of the most legit people I know. <laughs> See, even Bill Clinton has your back. Uh, you must be part of the New World yeah. Order. Oh, yeah, and obviously, because that sounds like Bill Clinton and appears to be, it must actually really be, which means... I'm Illuminati. Oh, yeah, and let's that, not forget that, must, that must be it. Let's not forget old Kissinger who's snoring in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after, really after after rough sex with Obama. And you know, I'm sure I'm sure Jim Henson was an Illuminati insider and we had Kermit on earlier, so you know, we just got the whole Illuminati fucking team over here just manipulating and psyoping you all. Oh yeah, you're being mind controlled, you better watch out. We're naughty. We're Illuminati. Oh baby. Oh, uh, 
Sounds good. Oh, Maggie Shaw, I get to have fun with your comment again. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to read it in the super whiny bitch voice. Maggie Shaw. I didn't even know who Teal was. I didn't even know who Teal was until I read this post, and so naturally had a YouTuber. She may have had great advice, but let's just say I could not resonate with her energy at all. I can feel a true blue and a natural healer when I see one, even over the internet. This is not to say she's not a good person. I just feel like there's something that's not totally being brought to the light about who she is. <laughs> hey, guess what, Maggie? Guess, guess what, Maggie? Guess what? Guess what? You're right. You know what's not being brought to the light about who she is? Who she is is the psychological projection and representation that she's reflecting back to you about your own energy that you don't want to face. Quantum mirror. <laughs> you can deny gravity straight off a cliff if you want. Doesn't mean gravity doesn't exist. Welcome to mental malware. Screw gravity. And Jordan Levine follows up this. This lady and I just had a very thorough opening, and she can feel deeply into people, maybe more than she knows. My I, I think I, I think I think there's a certain Katarina lady that Paul is feeling very deeply into at the moment. <laughs> I want to have a dialogue. <laughs> That's so wrong. Maylene Cabbage, I just watched a Teal episode, ironically. In my opinion, the point is you have to find what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, there's just no point. Jordan Levine, most people who are some open, with some open presence and intuition agree there is something very off about Teal. Most people with some open presence or intuition agree that Teal is messed up. I'm Jordan, and I I, I speak for charm and appearance. I I speak for most people. It reminds me of like when William Black was like, I I know psychologists and engineers. Well, there are people who say they are on Google Plus, and I have no proof, but I'm blindly believing them. And and they say that based on my interpretation of what I think you are, that that that, that you've got disorders and you're a criminal. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> is Jordan I want smoking? Want to know what Nazi-istic mind control drug you are smoking? My lord, man. <laughs> Bleed and breed art. <laughs> over ninety-five years old. My name is Abel Feller. I am the CEO and chairman of Deviant Art. My God. What are you smoking, Mr. Black? I want to know. Sick Hyle. Bleed and bleed out. Yeah. I am the fuel. I, I am the fuel, and I speak for the most people. And I say the most people say that that teal is Dunkoff and kaput, and don't go there. But she's a good person, though. I'm not saying she's not. I'm just saying she's evil and satanic and must be shunned out of the Reich. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> Oh, Adolf Hitler having a temper tantrum. It's great. Oh, Adolf Hitler. I'm sorry. He changed his name after he came back from Antarctica in a secret training camp with the penguins who know karate and kung fu. Okay. Most people are open to the presence, and I already read that, following up by the Miss Maggie Shaw, who's becoming my favorite um, personality. The thing is, those who deceive are being deceived. All we can do is hold space and love for her to find peace within herself, to t be totally honest with herself. The rest will come to light. 
Because obviously, if you're if you're not being honest with yourself in the way that somebody else says you should be honest with yourself, as per their ego attempting to dominate you, then that means you're not being honest with yourself because you didn't do what their ego wants you to do. Yes, my master, it shall be done. Good. Good. Lily of the Valley. Your life has been very off. Jordan Levine. There's also proof online that she's lied about her life, and I have no link to prove it because because it's because people on the on the site said it's true, so it has to be true, or that it's been much more, much less than she speaks of in some ways. There are meddling m m modeling pr pr profiles on her online claiming that she did a ton of modeling and Olympic training and stuff in the like same years. She's also claimed to be like absurd and messed up by satanic ritual. Something's off there. Cause I sit so I'm gonna take it and let me whack you in the face with my dialogue. I'm gonna follow up again. I also talked to someone who had people do profiling on her, and yet again, I don't give any evidence because, well, shut up. You're wrong. My friends on G Plus are right. <laughs> By professionals, and they all agreed that there was something really off about her, and these were professionals that work high level authorities and detect. <laughs> this is what they. Did William Black hack his account? Dude, <laughs> this totally sounds like William Black talking about me. This is totally William Black. What the hell is going on It sounds exactly like William Black talking about me. This is totally William Black. This oh is my god. <laughs> hey. Because all of space time, hey, because all of space time exists at once, maybe this is a multiple simultaneous incarnation of William Black. You like your you 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 like your William Wesley Crouch boy. Now get two for the price of one. Two blacks, all William. Black <laughs> boy. I'll get your two for price of one. I'm an internet salesman. Yeah, I'll give you a double dialogue. <laughs> hey, 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 and you know what? Guess what? Because it sounds like he's talking like William Black, a.k.a. William Wesley Crouch. That must mean he is. And, and, and the fact that he, he seems to be talking like him is proof enough that, that Jordan is literally William Wesley Crouch, Mr. William Black. They are the, the same person because, because they seem to be. Because they are speaking in such identical type of mannerisms that... That just automatically means they are the exact same person. So I'm just gonna gonna say that that I I hope the the dark entities and Mr. Mr. Black's field detach from him so that so that he can be honest that he's got all these fake accounts and and, and that and that William Black isn't really in Chicago. That was just a prepaid cell phone or something. Really, William Black is in is in Can is in Canada with Leah Tarunin, and that's the real truth. Because I say so. Because it seems to be, and and and, and because because I I just you know the William Blackness there that just means there's a black entity attached to Jordan just because I say so because I can see that he's typing the same way as William Black typed about me that was completely baseless so seeing as these two pieces of baseless ignorance look identical that means that they those two literally are the same person that is William Wesley Crouch no doubt and I don't need to present any actual evidence cuz my observation of his black energy is enough 
and yes, I'm being completely mocking, of course. I'm not being oh. the least bit serious. <laughs> but, you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when Katarina watches this later, she's going to be rolling on the fucking floor. <laughs> I would laugh if this guy, Jordan Levine, just automatically accidentally typed in all caps, NASA headquarters should be mine! What? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I know it! I know it! I know it! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> that was just a dark energy typing for him. <laughs> well, well, the thing is, I think that when he sensed okay, the dark, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read the next comment. <laughs> but when he when, when he sensed the dark energy in teal, what he sensed is when she took a shit, she didn't wipe cleanly enough. So you know, dark must mean evil. <laughs> teal, you, you need to wipe your butt better so that so that Jordan doesn't think you've got darkness attached to your ass. Mmm, <laughs> crayons. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sulu likes Klingons. Hello. Oh, yes. Those Klingons. Lily of the Valley. Interesting. And Jordan Levine. Very. I don't uh, care who's met her in person or what. There's some very off things about her. And I believe she's great at manipulating people. And has support from the current entities the surrounding engage with her. Brian Meyer. I heard she was absurd a lot as a child. Maybe this has something to do with it. Mm -hmm. Hashtag reasons. Teal didn't wipe her butt good enough. That means she's turned to the dark side of the force. I like the dark side of the force. They have bigger dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking did a Sulu. That's so funny. And it's funny because George Decay is actually... <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, 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 does, that does sound like an accurate Sulu. You can totally do that and get away with it. Uh, no, I can do a great Hikaru Sulu. It's no, it's, no it's, 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 it's like, don't let don't let Kirk show you what he calls the captain's log. <laughs> I want to see the captain's log. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm ripping it up tonight. Somebody stop me. Maylene Cabbage, or Savage. Savage runs with Cabbage. I personally r resonate very well with her energy. She has mentioned she has very sexual energy. She's healed her sensuality, which she mentions in the Divine Feminine video. <clears throat> oh my god, you resonate with her energy! That means you're evil and possessed by Darth Vader! <laughs> You are no longer credible in the Jedi Council. Get out. You're shown. <laughs> Fuck you. But hurt you are. A fuck I don't give. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there I go doing Yoda. But everybody who's listening right now is probably laughing their asses off because I can just nail them right off the bat. Michael H. Carmen. Not sure what anyone means by that. The thing is, her and Jordan from Spirit Science have got astral travel down, it seems. They also, from what I can abstract from this new info, have made friends that are giving potentially harmful information and behaviors that don't really serve us on this plane. This is what I'm seeing, Jordan's post, concerning Ellen Barkman. Entities? Question mark, question mark. Ryan Meyer. I connected with her energy a while back, got on the same wavelength as her, even briefly interacted with her over Facebook. It's very interesting. I think in her case she's almost too open spiritually, so there's all kinds of influences playing out around her. But she, as a person, is genuine and well-intentioned. There's just some other forces at work, if you know what I mean. 
Well, there, well. There, 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 there's oh. other forces at work with all of us. It's called humanity's been manipulated and brainwashed, and if we don't all recognize our own mental malware, then everything's just a psychological projection anyway, as this thread proves. Exactly. Lily of the Valley. She herself mentions many being, <clears throat> many being entities around her that she sees and hears, so much so that she says she sometimes has trouble following a conversation with someone because they're interrupting. Michael H. Carmen. Although I'm saying this, I have no beef with her personal practice that others cling to, but prefer for myself a similar shamanic, yeah, shamanic path as Jordan's. Lawrence Tenenbaum. She comes across to me like Lilith from Lilith from Cheers. That's a vibe I've always had from her. Just saying, Ryan Meyer. She may even know she's she is a puppet of sorts, but there's nothing she can really do about it. Ryan Meyer. I think in this case, for many spiritual leaders, their guides are actually misleading them, but they don't know it. They think they the work they are doing is truly humane and charitable, but it's a distortion. They just can't see it. Ryan Meyer. Some some can, some can't. The ones who do see but continue to mislead people anyway. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. Ryan Meyer. This is what you can call evil. Cue wisdom from Gandalf. Some believe it is only great power that can hold evil in check, but it but that is not what I have found. I have found <clears throat> it is small everyday deeds from or of ordinary folk that keep darkness at bay. Small acts of kindness and love. And of the Valley. I think some people do that for money. That last one, Ryan. Believe the Valley. Or even celebrities. Ryan Meyer. Indeed, it's either money or fear. Ryan Meyer. Fear is something bad. Fear that something will, bad will happen to them slash their families. Ryan Meyer. All of this being said, her teachings and even her presence are still very helpful. They're all stepping, they're all like a stepping stone to true understanding and awakening. Just like Russell Brand's stuff or spirit science or any of that. They just talk spiritual talk, which does help to open people's minds up a bit and realize that there's something more to life than old mundane shit. They're, yet again, what is it with them censoring cuss words? That's like paradigm infancy shit. But then you have to go further. You have to find things out about yourself. You can't just keep listening to your favorite figurehead and then lean on them and vamp your way to enlightenment. Sebastian Palladian E.M. Fat E.M. That's a long-ass Facebook name. Sophia Space Camino G. Facebook won't let me tag you either. Facebook doesn't like us together. Your argument is true, but it doesn't contradict mine either. The truth is one is self-evident. It's obvious from our own perspective that it's true, because how can it not be? <clears throat> it just is. It's like debating the sun coming up every morning, or that it feels cooler in winter than summer. Quantum physics is arriving at that an answer that embraces all of our understanding and definition of reality. It will soon encompass an idea of oneness. I love to work with Ness and Perriman about this, but this doesn't make it the ultimate truth. This is just the human perspective. Thought prism of science to understand and assimilate our reality. It's not even the final word in the subject. For this info is relevant today and as for as long as it stands. Could be a year, could be 10,000, still a fraction of time. If you were pleading with, if you were pleading with your full memories, you might see, see quantum physics and you'd understand what you were talking about, but you'd call it different and maybe arise at the answer though, through a different path, maybe a more intu intuitive path, female, than science, a very masculine process. Both truths stand. Let's talk about the same, but express it in different perspectives. An Arcturian might have a different explanation for this, and <clears throat> Andromedian, another, and Anakai, another one, man, yeah, a lot of weird names, and so on. I guess the short version to this would be there are multiple answers to the same question, and all answers are one and the same. We are also keeping this debate clearly in our own understanding of reality. 
because if we want to take the multidimensional approach and levels of density and binational frequencies, well, we'd never really finish this beautiful conversation. I'll send you a friend request to see if, you, if we can tag each other. Namaste. Much love and gratitude for this interaction. And we'll, I think we read that a long time ago. Marcel Oppenheart, I guess I'm judging in again because I gave my <clears throat> gave two cents. I'm not a new acre, so I can get away with it, right? LOL. Nice little Oppenheart. Oh, now we're mean because we call it out when others sugarcoat it. I'm I'm so much love. Wow, that grammar. I'm so much love. I can't judge the law in the H talk. I'll say, no moron. You're a human being. Spread. Your grammar is ter terrible, terrible. Expressing your own inner guidance and intuition. You have one for a reason. Know thyself. Amara Elbana, Nicole Wolfson, Effie Rao, hallelujah, I'm so glad someone else gets it. Thanks for posting your thoughts on this, Jordan. And the final, last comment just now, Dave Kelso, PSAC 2015, information is just information. Yeah, th this recording right here. I'm going to hit refresh just in case anybody has said anything new beyond that, but starting to get to be early in the morning here. No one probably did. Or at least we can hope not. <laughs> well, if they did, I ain't saying anything more. Oh, they did. How much more? Um, not too much. Oh. It starts at uh, John Stump. Oh, okay, not too bad. I doubt it more than likely, John Stone, I doubt it more than likely it's your perspective of refining rather than evil conspiracy theories. They're good people, even if they themselves are being manipulated or whatever. Mm. There's truth in what they're saying. What matters is you and how you assimilate their message. No one and no thing can influence you negatively unless at some level. That's what you really, that's what you really want. Michael H. Carman. What is yourself? This should be different for everyone. John Stone. But from the same place spoken, Ashley Jackson. I honestly don't understand. Doesn't everyone have their own truth? Like Abraham? Just not sure how to use law of attraction well yet? I honestly am not criticizing your opinion, Jordan O'Brien, but if you can offer some insight, I am very interested. David Pereira. You're on the ball, Jordan O'Brien. I'd like to talk with you soon, if possible. I've been in Mexico and you've appeared in my mind in my mind stream on more than one occasion. I'm also going to take a listen to your Bridging Heaven and Earth series. David Pereira. I should say you're out of out of the queue, that's more appropriate metaphor. And then cue your comment. <clears throat> Whew. Oh my That's all, that's that's all been a mouthful, huh? Oh my. <clears throat> That's been a hell of a mouthful, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Paradigm shift. Bobby, get some sleep. Okay, let's see. We've got Bill Clinton in the room. we got Kissinger, who's sleeping. Obama, who's on the floor with a destroyed rectum. Um, <laughs> Hikaru Sulu. Hank Hill. Bobby, who's here by proxy. Gee. God. Just racking them up. Who else? Chewbacca? Oh, there's Chewbacca. Hi, Hello, Kermit D. Frog here. Oh, and then, of course, Mas Master Yoda. Master Yoda is here, too. I forgot. And Darth Vader. And the Emperor. I mean, Jesus, we could just rack them all up. Yeah, that's the, that's the list of dark entities that have been attaching to us. You know which way town is? Yeah, it's back the way you came. <laughs> 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 can't speak into a black guy with a banjo. Or no, he's holding a banjo. He 
<laughs> switches it to a shotgun, and a black guy rose up in a boat and said, which way is town? And he's cocks the, Kermit cocks the shotgun, and he's like, yeah, it's back to where you came. Like, I know it. You know what, you know, you, you know what, Rich? What? We are laugh. We are laughing and happy and discussing quote unquote negativity from a quote unquote positive perspective at a higher vibration. So that must mean we are deceptive and manipulating because obviously, if we were telling the truth, we just hypocritically keep ourselves stuck in misery paradigm and go, oh, it's all miserable, blah blah blah. See, because anybody who can integrate light and dark, and and view things more objectively. Obviously, they're they've got dark entities attached to them, and they're they're scamming, even if they don't know it, and and they don't know how to wipe their butts and and whatever, and blah blah blah. So, you know, people better not listen to Rich or Dave or Katarina or any of this peace sec nonsense because because we're just like being politically incorrect and we're not putting asterisks in our in our swear words and. And we're just a bunch of stupid poopy heads trying to manipulate you. Well, uh. Uh, yeah, so everybody make sure that if you've suffered through this whole thing, just delete it all from your mind. Just, you know, totally shun it and you know, because obviously we're we're not credible. Um, we're possessed by dark entities based on um, <clears throat> Jordan's assessment because he does the whole guilt by association thing. So, you know, and third and fourth and fifth party information and so on. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just lumped right in there with those dark entities that have crawled up our assholes and taken refuge in our rectums and our... our possessing us with these evil mind control thingies to confuse you and we're 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 a psyop and 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 oh, oh we're 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 good people don't don't get us wrong but you know we've just been like taken over by Kissinger's dick and yeah it's just we don't even know we've been taken over cuz like like there's just like these cocks in our ears just taking us over and and we just don't know it because obviously we would never notice a big, big old cock going into our ears so we just don't notice it we don't know it but we're good people but we've been taking taken over by dark energies cuz we're not putting asterisks in our swear words and we're we're yeah yeah it's just yeah, so you better just like shun us because we're we're just evil mind controlling people yeah that must be it that's the only valid explanation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man. We covered a lot of ground. <laughs> a lot of ground. And we gotta be on what? Hour four of this marathon thing? <clears throat> <laughs> It's about as good as December strangeness. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. We even we even vaguely referenced the bitch too. But anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah, we do. Any, anything else you feel needs to be said? Because I don't really feel inclined to hit the uh <laughs> the refresh button because this thread could probably go for all eternity. And we should probably bring this video to a close. So, anything, anything you have to say before we end out? Uh, not really. Um, just dealing with the new age paradigm. <laughs> <laughs> May the butt hurt be with you, always. May the, may the butt. The butt hurt will be with you, Luke. Always. <laughs> no, it's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know they be true. No. No. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, have a good night, and just remember, don't watch any more of our stuff because we're evil, dark energy, possessed Illuminati psyop people. Have a good night. Peace out. Yep, signing off.